What if Goku and Vegeta were born as Gogeta and Vegeta? How would this impact Dragon Ball Z? I will not let you destroy my world! You see this? This is Goku! If you're not a subscriber, what are you waiting for? Subscribe now and make sure you click that bell so you'll be the first to know about any new Dragon Ball Z discussion what if I make. Now before we begin this what if, let's talk about the multipliers that will be happening inside this what if when it comes to Gogeta and Vegeta. Since Goku and Vegeta are going to be born as them and we're also going to be discussing about when it comes to their characteristic. Now when it comes to the multipliers, everyone knows or if you don't know, the fusion multiplier is and this is according to Vados which we saw inside the Tournament of Power when Kefla was using her fusion, she said that the fusion multiplier can be Goku plus Vegeta time tens of time. Now she didn't give a specific number what is tens of time and we did a lot of research on what it is. Tens of time can be anything, it could be 1025, it could be 1020, so inside this what if we're gonna stick with 1020. So in other words, this parallel of Goku and Vegeta is going to be, since Goku at birth is 5 and Vegeta at birth is 900, it's going to be 905 times 200. That is going to be the power level of both Goku and Vegeta. And since they're both Gogeta and Vegito, their power are going to be tied because Vegito and Gogeta are tied inside Dragon Ball Super, you can say. So in here, we're going to do the exact same multiplier. Goku and Vegeta, 905 times 200 equals... 181,000. So Goku and Vegeta at birth will be 181,000. That is a multiplier for this what if. And one last thing, Goku and Vegeta are going to be the same age. So let's begin the what if. On year 737, it wasn't any ordinary day for the Saiyans as Planet Vegeta had two Saiyans being born on the same day and nevertheless, their power level was something no one has anticipated. Vegeta, who is Vegeta, was born one day before Kakarot, who is Gogeta. As King Vegeta took a lot of pride in his son being born since he is the prince of all Saiyans and once when they measured his power level, no one couldn't believe just how powerful he was. His power level was over 181,000. Upon measuring that got everyone extremely shocked as everyone speechless since they had no idea that a baby can be this strong while King Vegeta took pride in it and told everyone that because it is his son, he is going to take a lot of pride in having his son being this strong. With that, everyone had to accept the fact that the royal blood is actually really powerful and that Vegeta, or you can say Vegito, is born at a power level of 181,000. As everyone couldn't stop being amazed with Vegeta's power. From there, King Vegeta decided to name his son Vegito, and he wanted him to be the ruler of the Saiyan already since his power level is the strongest one on the planet. But little did they knew, the next day, Gine gave birth to another boy, and his name was Gogeta. Or you can say right now, his name is Kakarot. Upon giving birth to Kakarot, it was kind of a complication birth, but once when Kakarot was born, they then begun to go and measure his power level, and they found out it is the exact same power level as the prince. Now one benefit here is that since Vegeta's power level is beyond what anyone has anticipated, King Vegeta doesn't get salty and doesn't send Broly to planet Vampa. Broly is actually part of the Saiyan race because he's only born at 900 while the rest is born at this power level. With that, everyone got very shocked and confused as they couldn't believe that Bardock's son, who is not even royal blood, has the same power level as the prince? They couldn't accept this fact so they continued to do more tests on Gogeta since they wanted to see if it's true or not. Bardock has now returned from his mission as he saw that the planet was shaken up with all the news that's going around and from there Gine told him about their son and that his power level is the same as King Vegeta's son. Bardock knew that if King Vegeta found out he is a salty mama, he will go and do something to his son. But at the same time, he's not strong enough since if it's true, Kakarot's power level is 181,000 while King Vegeta's power level is just barely 15,000. With that, Bardock told Gine that they have to keep this under the hood and don't let no one know about 
Kakarot's power level. As the rest of the scientists that were continuing to search on Kakarot's power level, Bardock had no choice but to knock them out so they wouldn't tell King Vegeta what is the real power rating. And from there he decided to take Kakarot into his home as he was still in his nursing capsule. On the other hand, the news has spread to Frieza, who is the ruler of the Saiyans you can say since they all work under him, that Planet Vegeta has two Saiyans who is born at a very high power level. One is Broly who is born at 900 but the other one is the prince of all Saiyan whose power is 181,000. Upon hearing that got Frieza very shocked and said, What? Did you just say he's born at 181,000 Zarbon? It would appear so my lord. These Saiyans hadn't told no one yet but upon their birth of the new prince his power level is over 180,000. Oh my word! Wow! That's way stronger than you, Zarban! Uh, yes, I'm afraid that's true, my lord. But what do you want to do about them? <laughs> well, there's only one way. He's far weaker than me, so I'm not worried. But what I can do is, I'll go and take this prince and become my servant. And also the other one, what you said? Broly? Yeah. I'll get him to become my servant too. <laughs> you think I'm gonna let King Vegeta have these two saints under his belt? No way. But my lord, wouldn't it be easier if we just killed them? <laughs> Why kill them, Zarban, if we could use their power for our advantage? Just think about how powerful the Frieza Force will be. With those two on board, we'll be unstoppable. Let's go, Zarban. Set a course to Planet Vegeta. I need to go and meet with the king. As everyone has now saw that Frieza has arrived to Planet Vegeta. King Vegeta went to greet Frieza, but Frieza without any warning or anything went and decked Vegeta right in his face, getting him to be sent flying towards the ground. Once when he got up, he was badly hurt as he had no idea why Frieza hit him, but Frieza was angry and said, How dare you hide your son's parallel from me, you worthless monkey! Uh, I'm sorry my lord, he was, he was just born, it's not like I was not going to tell you. Well, whatever it is, I'm here to take your son. He's going to now be my loyal servant and live with me. What? But you can! He's the Prince of all Saiyan! Without any warning, Frieza went and threw a death beam right towards King Vegeta as it pierced through his heart and he died right there. Anyone else wants to object to this idea? That's what I thought, monkeys. Don't forget you guys are all below me. You're nothing but my pet. Now bring the prince over here to me. As Prince Vegeta has now arrived and with that, Frieza went and took him inside his spaceship. With that, before leaving, Frieza then ordered for Broly to be coming with them. As Paragus didn't want to give up his son but he saw what happened to King Vegeta so he had no choice and with that he looked towards Broly and said, Avenge us one day son. As Broly has gone with Frieza and with that Frieza has left the planet. But everyone saw that Frieza didn't really leave. He is still surrounding the planets from the outside view, watching it. Bardock had a gut feeling that something bad is going to happen and that Frieza is going to destroy the planet since he's afraid of any more Saiyans being born with this high power level. Without telling everybody his son's power level, Bardock quickly went and took him out of his nursing capsule as he went and set a course towards planet Earth and with that he has set Gogeta to go and make his way towards planet Earth. While Kakra was going towards planet Earth, Frieza saw that one of the space bot has left the planet but he didn't care since he had no idea that that space bot contained another baby Saiyan that has the same power level as Vegito. Frieza then looked towards Vegito and said, You are going to be the strongest warrior of my army and so are you. You two are going to make sure you serve me very well. Not before all this ends, it's time to destroy this wretched planet once and for all. Frieza won any power of a death ball as he aimed it right towards planet Vegeta. Bardock and everyone saw it coming as Bardock knew that this was it and that they were going to die and he was happy that he managed to save his son Kakarot's life. Once when the death ball went and hit them, it made a loud explosion as the entire planet has now blown up. Frieza on the other hand managed to go and take few Saiyans under his gaps. Two of them were Broly and Vegito and the other two was Raditz and Nappa since they were the strongest four Saiyans on planet Vegeta. Frieza then decided to set a course and to go right back to his planet 
as his idea was to brainwash them and make them the loyal subject of his own army. Kakra, on the other hand, has now arrived to planet Earth, as the space bot has crash landed there and with that, Grandpa Gohan came and he found a baby was sitting there as Kakra wasn't really crying, he was more into what's going on and from there he picked him up and said, Oh my, you must be a very tiny thing, huh? I see you have no parents, how about I take you under my wing? Mm, what can I name you? I got it, I'll name you Gogeta. And that is how Kakra's name has now become Gogeta. With that, Gogeta was with Grappa Gohan, as Grappa Gohan noticed that he was extremely powerful. His power level is something that no one can gasp with, as he is the strongest one on planet Earth. After all, his power level was 181,000. With that, Grandpa Gohan needed help to raise Gogeta as he called his friend Master Roshi to come and check him out. And with that, when Master Roshi saw just how powerful Gogeta is, he was completely speechless. But they were glad that Gogeta, unlike Goku, didn't have any temperament when the cannon Goku was out of control. Here, Gogeta had control since he is Gogeta. And from there, they decided to raise him and help him get stronger. As a few years has passed and now Gogeta did everything that Grandpa Gohan and Master Roshi wanted him to do and at the same time he continued his training as he wanted to get his power to be really strong. He did not waste any time trying to get stronger since it is planet earth and he is with Grandpa Gohan and Master Roshi, he continued to train. If you're not a subscriber, what are you waiting for? Subscribe now and make sure you click that bell so you'll be the first to know about any new Dragon Ball Z discussion what if I make. Gogeta's power compared to any other warrior or even Saiyan was far different than regular people because his power was that any training he does, it will give him a huge boost to his energy compared to regular Saiyans or even warriors. And when it comes to Zenkai boost, Gogeta will get a very high Zenkai boost as he continued to live his life as a kid with Grandpa Gohan and Master Roshi but they noticed that he was too powerful for anyone to even handle and from there they suggested a 10 year old boy to go and try out the World Martial Arts Tournament just to see how it goes. Where for Gogeta, it was nothing but a cakewalk. He was able to just power up his key and get everyone eliminated that just came near him. He didn't even have to raise his fist. That's how powerful Gogeta was at age 10, which got everyone to be very shocked. Gogeta's strength was no secret for no one, as the great Kai's up there including Korin and even Kami, the guardian of planet earth got the news about Gogeta's power, but far in the galaxy, one supreme Kai was watching planet earth and they noticed just how powerful this warrior is and he had a plan to visit him. My word, do you see this Kapito Kai? It's energy. It's incredible! Huh, at this rate, my lord, he might be even stronger than both of us. No doubt about that. I can't believe it. But how can a mortal be this strong? Well, he is a special one. We must watch over him. While that was happening, Gogeta then got the invitation to Master Roshi to go and meet with Kami, as Kami was very curious to meet with Gogeta and to see just how powerful he really is. No one met with Kami as they were all shocked that Gogeta got the invitation and with that Gogeta went and made his way towards the lookout as he has now met with Kami. Upon meeting Kami, Kami was very amazed to see that Gogeta is this powerful and from there he decided to do some tests on Gogeta. He took him to the room where Gogeta could do some type of training but Gogeta easily passed all those training and stuff that Kami tried to make him do and at last he made Mr. Popo go and see where he stands against Gogeta but all Gogeta had to do was just raise his fist as he got Mr. Popo to knock out. Gogeta was not intended to hit him but it was an accident as Kami was really impressed and from there he said, if there's anyone you could definitely beat King Piccolo, you have the chance to do that. Uh, King Piccolo? Who's that? Kami then told Gogeta about who King Piccolo is but first he wanted Gogeta to do some mission for him as he told Gogeta about the Red Ribbon Army and from there Gogeta said, say less, I'll easily handle this myself. Gogeta went towards the Red Ribbon Army base and he easily destroyed everything that was there as he managed to get the race to be disbanded and from there the army was very angry as they hold a lot of grudge towards him. From there Gogeta then came back as Kami told him about the hyperbolic time chamber. 
telling him that if he spends one day there, it would equal one year. Gogeta was very curious and amazed to hear that there is such room like this, as his curiosity got the best out of him and he decided to go and train inside the hyperbolic time chamber. While that was happening, let's go and talk about the story of Vegito. The last time we saw Vegito was Frieza 1 and he took Vegito and Broly to be on his side as his mission was to make them be the ruler of his army force and make them be the one you could say his rat dog. Any order he gives them, they will command his order. But Vegito and Broly weren't the only Saiyans. Nappa and even Raditz were with them since they were also one of the strongest Saiyans on the planet. But all of them knew that Frieza went and he destroyed the planet and he also killed King Vegeta. Vegeta had a grudge against Frieza as he was ready to go and take him down but Frieza is a very smart cookie. He did something that no one thought could be possible. Frieza went and he began to do some training of his own. Which was very odd to everyone because someone who never trained in their life decided to go and train. But the reason why Frieza did that was because if he is going to deal with someone as powerful as Vegito, who at birth was over 180,000, he is going to have to make sure that he is stronger than Vegito in order to keep him in line. As Frieza went and he did a few months of training which no one knows about, but they just know that Frieza went to train as Vegito saw that he has no chance until he becomes stronger. And with that he continued to follow all of Frieza's order. Frieza told him to go and destroy this, he would do so along with Broly. And if Frieza would tell him to go do this, he would have to listen since they had no other choice. Vegito then one day was sitting down with Nappa, Raditz and Broly as Nappa looked towards Vegito and said, Hey Vegito, your power is so amazing, why the hell are you still taking orders from Frieza? Listen man, we got no choice, have you not seen that he's gone and trained? His power has also increased a lot. Uh, how could you tell? The scouter doesn't say anything. I'm able to sense power instead of using scouter. What? Whoa! So then what's your plan? Obviously I want to take down Frieza. He destroyed our race. But then how you plan to do that? I don't know. There's only one way. I guess we have to wait until we're a bit stronger. I know I'm just a kid. Once I'm a little older, I'll have a chance to do so. Back on Earth. Gogeta continued to train a lot as he has done all his training with Kami and as you know it, a few years has passed and now King Piccolo has been resurrected since the Peel of Game Master released him from his seal. King Piccolo then began to rain hammock on the earth as he wanted to collect all the Dragon Balls but from there but Gogeta went and he confronted King Piccolo as King Piccolo looked towards him and said, What the? Who are you? <laughs> this will be an easy win. How about you die right here? Gogeta without wasting any time went and he kneed Piccolo in his face three times as he went and he punched him right through his stomach, piercing through it and from there Piccolo has died but before dying, he managed to spit out an egg. Gogeta then came back and told Kami that he has easily taken care of the mission as Kami was beyond impressed that Gogeta managed to do it without killing him and Piccolo and from there Gogeta went right back to Grandpa Gohan and Master Roshi as he continued to train and since Grandpa Gohan and Master Roshi are very close friends with Ox King, they went and they used to train with the Ox King as Gogeta met with Chi Chi. Yes, Gogeta and Chi Chi met with each other as she had a lot of liking towards Gogeta and as you know it, a few more years has passed as Earth was in peace. No one had no problem coming to Earth and trying to mess with anyone because they knew that Gogeta is there to save the day and from there Gogeta and Chi Chi's relationship kicked up as they decide to marry one another, but Gogeta continued to train non-stop on his own, trying to get even stronger. With that, Gogeta eventually met with King Piccolo Jr. you can say, as Piccolo and him has settled their beef and they decide to become allies with one another, and Piccolo will have the same strive as Gogeta to get stronger, and from there he has also joined Gogeta in his training spree. Although Gogeta is far stronger than Piccolo, it is still something that he could use as a punching bag. While that was happening, Back at Vegito's place. Vegito was now grown into a full fledged adult along with everyone else as Vegito continued to listen to orders of Frieza but from there they decided to retaliate as Vegito looked towards Nappa and Raditz along with Broly and said alright listen here guys Frieza has sent me to do a mission with Zarbon and Dodoria. I'll go and handle those two clowns but in return I need you guys to go to planet earth. What? Why planet earth? I have finally found the location of another Saiyan that's there. You mean the myth of a Saiyan being born with the same power as you? 
Oh, trust me, it's no myth. He is actually as strong as me. When I was doing my mission at Planet Paru, I found out from Planet Earth. That is a place, that's where I could actually sense his energy. It's not that far from that planet. So I want you three to go there and see if it's true and try to recruit them. And also, Broly, learn to control your temper. Hey, if he pisses me off, I will not have to control myself. I'll kill him. No, we cannot have you to kill him. We're gonna need his help. After all, our goal is to kill Frieza. With his new power that he has, none of us could stand a chance against him right now. Alright then, let's go check it out. Okay then, I count on you guys. Go! As Nappa, Raditz, and Broly all sat in their space pod and they set a course to go to planet Earth, which would take him roughly almost one year as they left the planet. Vegito, on the other hand, went with Zarbon and Dodoria to do a mission as they fulfilled that mission, but from there, Dodoria looked towards Zarbon and said, Hey, why is he not listening to orders? I don't know. Vegito, it's time for us to go back. <laughs> go back to Frieza, huh? Not so fast. What do you mean? With that, Vegito went and he stabbed Zarbon right in his stomach, getting him to bleed out. Hey! How dare you do that! Vegito went and he quickly went and shot a beam towards both their scatter. As it broke and from there he said, It is time I take over and destroy both you guys and then kill Frieza. <laughs> Goodbye. As Vegito threw a blast right towards him and they died right there. With that, Vegito went right back to planet Frieza as he told Frieza the news that Dodoria and Zarbon has died and that he managed to kill the one who killed those two. Frieza was impressed that Vegito managed to do it, but he was also upset that his two right hand man has died, but he didn't care since he had Vegito on his side. With that, Vegito asked for some time off as he decided to go join Raditz, Nappa, and Broly on Earth. While that was happening, Gogeta on the other hand back on Earth was chilling with Piccolo as they were trying to do a lot more training session with one another and at the same time, Chi Chi has given birth to a boy and they decide to name it Gohan. Since Grandpa Gohan has died due to old age, Vegeta wanted to show his respect by naming his child after him. As they were all relaxing but from there, Vegito began to sense some power coming towards planet Earth and said, Hmm? What's the matter Gogeta? Do you guys not sense that? It looks like someone is here. Oh wow! Their power is huge! There's like three of them! <laughs> Nothing I cannot handle. If you're not a subscriber, what are you waiting for? Subscribe now and make sure you click that bell so you'll be the first to know about any new Dragon Ball Z discussion what if I make. Gogeta and Piccolo were able to sense three strong power level coming towards planet Earth. As one of them, their power was over 5,000, the other one was over 20,000, but the third one was way higher than the other two since Raditz and Nappa are kinda weak compared to Broly and Vegito and Broly since he is a legendary Super Saiyan his power level right now entering Earth is over 200 million at base after all this is the very early arc of Broly obviously he's not gonna be the DBS Broly where he had all those years of training with his father and inside planet Vampa fighting all those deadly creatures and stuff but Vegito and Gogeta's power level at base right now after all the training and since they were born at 181,000. Now bear with me, it is kind of difficult to think of all the power level when it comes to each arc, but we'll try our best to give it out to you guys. At their current power level with their extra Zankai boost that both Vegito and Gogeta get since they are fused, you could say non-fused character born, but with that, with that potential of the fusion, it gives them a huge boost in their Zankai, which gives them to be over 800 million power level at base. And for Broly, the more he fights and gets angry, and if he transforms to his legendary Super Saiyan power, it will definitely increase even more. As all those three has now arrived towards planet Earth. Gogeta wasn't worried about the two parallel, but when he sends Broly, he said, This is not good. We need to hurry up, Piccolo. Otherwise, if this one attacks, the entire Earth could be doomed. But how can someone be that strong, though? I know that you're massively strong and still to come close to you, but I thought only you're this strong. <laughs> the universe is a big place, my friend. Now let's go. 
as Gogeta and Piccolo has now arrived to where Raditz, Nappa and Broly were. Raditz, Nappa and Broly has come out of their space pod as they looked around and said, So this is the planet that Vegito said we'll find the other Saiyan, huh? Yeah, I'm pretty sure this is it. But, huh, planet Earth? How come it hasn't been destroyed yet? Well, if it's been destroyed, then how do you expect him to live here? Well, you mean, you know what I mean, he erased the population or something. It doesn't matter. What matters is we have company. Look up. As they saw, Gogeta and Piccolo has now arrived. Gogeta then came right towards him as he confronted him and said, Who are you guys and why did you guys come to my planet? So, it's you, Kakarot. As Radis quickly went and he began to use his scouter, but the scouter couldn't pick up Gogeta's power level. It was too high, causing it to break. And from there he said, The only one that the scouter broke to was Frieza, Vegito, and Broly. That means you're that strong too. Who is this Kakarot guy? My name is Gogeta, and I ask you this again. Why are you guys in my planet? Hey, shut the hell up and cut the crap. We come here to get you. Your prince Vegito needs you. We're gonna go and kill Frieza together. Vegito? And who the heck that'll be? Uh, Kakarot? What happened to you? Don't you know who we are? I have no idea who you guys are. But judging from your tail, I guess you guys are a Saiyan just like me. Well, at least you know that much, yes. Allow me to introduce you to myself. My name is Radis. I'm your brother. What? My brother? As Gogeta had a shock right there, but from there, Radis then continued to go and tell Gogeta about the evilness that Frieza possessed and that he is the one who destroyed their home planet and that Vegito needs his help to go and take down Frieza. Gogeta had no idea what to say or what to do as he didn't like them just by their presence since he could see that they have come here for business but from there he saw Broly was getting angry as Vegito told Broly before leaving to control his anger while Gogeta looked towards him and said Look, I have a lot on my plate right now but it's important for me to protect my planet now I'll kindly ask you guys to leave or you're more than welcome to stay in this planet with that they saw another space pod has now arrived as they were surprised to see that the space pod has arrived to planet earth and from there it was no one other than Vegito. Vegito caught out of his space pod as he looked towards Gogeta and said <laughs> there's no doubt you're the one your power is the same as mine I could just sense it it's like I'm sensing my own self huh whoa how is your power the same as mine who are you my name is Vegito. I am the prince of all Saiyans. I believe you have already met my friends. But what matters is we need to go and defeat Frieza. Listen, I said this before and I'm gonna say this again. I don't really have any beef with this Frieza guy. And if you like to stay in this planet, you're more than welcome. Really? Okay then, how about this? If you're able to surpass Broly, call me and press. Broly? Broly! Attack him! As Broly went and brought out all his rage and with that he rushed right towards Gogeta and he strike him across his face, getting Gogeta to be sent flying. Gogeta then managed to stop himself as Broly came close to him and he tried to hit him again but from there Gogeta dodged it with his knee as he smiled and said, <laughs> Looks like you have a lot of power within yourself, huh? You sure got a good potential within you. Broly didn't care as he went and he continued to go and hit Gogeta and from there Gogeta could sense that Broly's power was increasing. He was just at 200 million and now his power is rapidly increasing to 300 million. As Gogeta quickly went and he need Broly in right in his face, getting Broly to be sent flying meters away and from there Gogeta came right next to him as he decked him in his stomach, getting Broly to pass out instantly. Vegito smiled and said, there's no doubt, if you could take down Broly you're definitely one of me. With that Raditz went and he tried to attack Gogeta but Piccolo went and he need him towards his face getting Raz to pass out while Nappa went and he tried to attack Piccolo but Piccolo since he did train with Gogeta is far stronger than he was as his power level at base is over 80,000. Piccolo went and he managed to dodge Nappa and from there he headbutted him getting Nappa to be sent flying meters away and from there Piccolo striked him right in his stomach as Nappa passed out. Hmm I see your friends also pretty strong too. What do you say Gogeta? You think you can beat me? <laughs> well. The Saiyan within me cannot say no to this battle. I am very curious to see where you start. How about this? If you're able to beat me, I'll join you and help you defeat this Frieza guy. But then I'm going to come right back to my planet. And however, if you lose, you're going to have to drop this thing and live here with me on Earth. <laughs> I guess you got a good deal then. Let's do it. As both of them went right into their ready position. 
A battle between Gogeta and Vegeta is very intense that this stare down was shaking the entire planet. With that, both Gogeta and Vegeta went and they charged right towards one another and their power clashed with each other as they were going at it back and forth. <laughs> Gogeta went and he striked Vegeta, but Vegeta managed to brush it off and from there he went and strike Gogeta back and this continued for some time as both of them were landing blow to blow. After all, they're both at 750 million power level going at one another. With each power clash, the entire earth continued to shake, creating a lot of lightning and making the atmosphere look like it was about to be destroyed since it couldn't handle the power between Gogeta and Vegeta. Vegeta then smiled and said, you're really good. Oh wow, can you imagine if we work together? No one can beat us. How about you join me, Gogeta? Once when I beat Frieza, I'll be the ruler of this universe and together we can rule this entire place. <laughs> no thank you, I'm happy here on my planet. And if you want to become the ruler, I'm not going to allow that to happen. If I win, you have to stay here with me, don't forget. Yeah, yeah, but if I win, your ass is coming with me to beat Frieza and be my right hand man. <laughs> Alright then let's do this, as both of them continued to go at each other back and forth and the power clashed with each other. While they were fighting, Frieza got a message from one of his men told him that there is something called a wishing orbs on planet Namek and that if you manage to collect all 7 of them, you could ask for any wish. Despite the fact that Frieza made sure he made himself strong by training a lot, he was still curious to get his hand on those wishing orbs as he decided to go and make his way towards planet Namek with the rest of the Ginyu Forest since Zarbon and the Doria has died back on Earth. Gogeta and Vegeta were going at it as their power clashed with each other and from there Vegeta looked towards him and said, You know it's kind of futile we're just going at it back and forth, but now I have definitely won this battle. After all, I am the prince of all Saiyan. <laughs> oh yeah? And what makes you think you won this battle? Shit, I have a power that you don't have. Let me show you. Vegito has now gone and transformed into a Super Saiyan. Upon transforming into a Super Saiyan, his power has increased massively. After all, Super Saiyan Zenkai power does give you a 50 times base power. And with that, Gogeta smiled and said, <laughs> Amazing. I see you also have this power, huh? Well then, let me show you too. <laughs> Gogeta has now gone and transformed into his Super Saiyan, as both Gogeta and Vegeta has now even a playing field by transforming into their Super Saiyan. With that, they both smiled at one another as they're ready to go at it and see who will be the last one to stand. If you're not a subscriber, what are you waiting for? Subscribe now and make sure you click that bell so you'll be the first to know about any new Dragon Ball Z discussion what if I make. Both Gogeta and Vegito has now gone and transformed into their Super Saiyan. They were able to use this power for quite some time but now this was the time for them to display this power. After all, you have two most powerful Saiyan using their Super Saiyan just to see who is the stronger one. You know one thing, this battle is going to be nothing but epicness. But while that was happening, far at the Supreme Kai's world, Supreme Kai was able to sense both of their power and said, my word! Do you sense that Kapito guy? How can two mortals be this strong? Huh, <laughs> these two are unbelievable! No doubt they could easily kill Majin Buu if it ever comes down to it! My lord, but this doesn't make any sense. They're even stronger than us god. It's been since time since mortal is stronger than us god. Who do you think Majin Buu is? 
He's also not a god and he's much stronger than us, Capito. I have a feeling these two guys will be something very bright in the future. My word. So what's your plan, my lord? <laughs> I'm definitely gonna go and visit them. I wanna talk to them. Back on Earth, Vegito smiled and said, Well then, are you ready to fight me? Do you think you have it in to beat me? <laughs> Says a guy that has been Frieza's laptop for a very long time. I'm more than ready. Let's see what you got. <laughs> you could talk as much as you want, but the result will still be the same. Oh yeah? Well then, let's see what you got, Vegito. Yeah. <laughs> Bring it on, Gogeta. As they stared at one another, and with that, their second round has begun. Both Super Saiyans went and they rushed right towards one another and their power clashed with each other as they were going at it back and forth. While they were hitting each other, the entire atmosphere of the planet was shaking as it couldn't handle the power of two Super Saiyans and nevertheless it was Vegito and Gogeta's power as they continued to clash with one another. Gogeta went and he uppercut Vegito, getting to be sent flying high in the air but Vegito quickly went and he used his after image strike as he came right in front of Gogeta and he striked him and when Gogeta tried to hit him he quickly instant transmission away as he continued to after image himself from Gogeta. Well then, I see you're using such a pathetic move. <laughs> if it's so pathetic, then why don't you try to dodge it? Gogeta went and he powered up his key as he rushed right towards Vegito, and from there he also ended up using the same technique as he managed to use the after image and he came right in front of him and he kneed him in his stomach, getting Vegito to gasp for air. With that, Vegito went and he used his, his legs to grab Gogeta's hand and from there he twisted it and he kicked him right in his face, getting Gogeta to be sent flying. With that, both of them stopped with their power as they rushed right towards one another and their power continued to clash with each other as they were going at it back and forth. Vegito then smiled and said, I see that we're completely tied inside this power, but yet, you know I have way more power than this. <laughs> All you do is talk. Nothing but talk. If you got more power, then why don't you come show me, Vegito? <laughs> My pleasure. After all, I am the Prince of All Saiyans. It's time for you to bow before me. Vegito went and he began to power up his key. As he went and he used more power, Gogeta decided to do the same as he also used more power and with that, Gogeta saw that Vegito went and he powered up a Gallic Gun. It is time for you to know the exact meaning of power. Now you're fighting with the prince, you'll see why I'm the prince of all Saiyans. As Vegito went and he continued to power up his Gallic Gun, Gogeta went and he powered up the Kamehameha Wave. As both Gogeta and Vegeta were ready to throw their beam towards one another and with that they threw their wave towards each other. As both of the wave clashed with one another and from there it was a wave battle between Vegito and Gogeta. Both of them were trying really hard to overpower one another as a wave was stuck right in between the middle and with that it made a loud explosion. Gained the wave to explode but from there Gogeta and Vegito didn't stop. They rushed right towards each other as Vegito punched Gogeta but Gogeta kicked him and from there they kept this up for some time. You got two warriors who are very strong. Vegito who was born at 181 million and at the same time he did nothing but train with Frieza a little bit and then he trained with Vegeta, Zarbon, Broly and Nappa getting his power to get a lot stronger while Gogeta who was also born at the same power level as Vegito and he did a lot of training on earth alone but what made Gogeta be able to have a more power and be on par with Vegito is the fact that he didn't train with powerful people but what Gogeta did was he trained inside the hyperbolic time chamber which allowed his skills and power to be on par with Vegito. It ended up closing the gap thanks to training inside the chamber as both Gogeta and Vegito continued to attack one another and from there Vegito smiled and said, you know this could go on forever. I think it's time we both use 100% of our power and we hit each other to see where we stand. I think you're right. The more we attack, the more damage we're doing towards my planet and not to each other. Well then, let's put an end towards this Gogeta. I couldn't agree more, Vegito. As both Gogeta and Vegito went, and they began to power up their power to full, using 100% of their Super Saiyan. With that, both of them began to glow as Vegito said, It is time I end this. That was my line. Let's see what you got. 
as both of them went and they powered up the key and with that they both fully went and charged towards one another as they both clashed with each other and with that Vegeta went and uppercut Gogeta but Gogeta went and did a backflip and kicked Vegeta in his face. Vegeta quickly spin and did a punch right towards Gogeta's stomach while Gogeta fell but from there he quickly went behind and he kneed go Vegeta right in his back and from there both of them continued to hit each other. They both took a, a lot of severe damage with one another after all, it is not normal people fighting, it's Vegito and Gogeta fighting with one another as they continue to take damage but from there they had to put an end towards this. Will Vegito lose and join Gogeta or will Gogeta lose and join Vegito? With that Gogeta had too much to lose as he continued to think about all the people he met, his wife Chi Chi, his son and the planet and all his friends while Vegito, the only thing he was thinking about was his pride and the fact that he wants to rule the universe by defeating Frieza but he also noticed that someone as powerful as Gogeta doesn't have the same motivation and that those two can actually do a lot of damage if they were ever to work as a team. Vegito then smiled and said, okay then, let's put an end towards this Gogeta. Let's attack one another with 100%. I thought we're already doing that, but okay, let's do it. As they both powered up the key, and with that, they both rushed towards each other, and they hit each other as they made a loud explosion. Once when the smoke cleared, Piccolo couldn't believe what he was seeing, as his entire body was shaking, while the rest of the Saiyans, Raditz, Nappa, and Broly were completely shocked on seeing this power. As they saw the outcome of this battle, and with that, they saw the air has cleared, as they saw both Vegito and Gogeta were paused mid-air as they struck one another and with that they both fell towards the ground. Both of them landed hard towards the ground as they couldn't get up. Vegito was down for the count as he couldn't believe that Gogeta was able to do this to him while Gogeta was down but from there, Gogeta remembered that he needs to win this otherwise he will have to join. Gogeta then managed to send up all his strength he can as he managed to get up while Vegeta was still in the ground and with that Gogeta said You still had enough or do you want to die here? <laughs> Man, we hit each other with everything we got and yet you're still able to stand? <laughs> okay, you win this. As Gogeta fell towards the ground and he passed out along with Vegeta. Piccolo went and he picked up Gogeta as Raditz and Nappa went and they picked up Vegito and from there Piccolo told him to give them a Senso Bean as he also gave Gogeta a Senso Bean. Upon eating the Senso Bean, both Gogeta and Vegito got right back up as Vegito looked towards him and said, My gosh, you are amazing. <laughs> it's like I'm talking to myself, you're not bad either. It's like we're 100% tied. But tell me, if you're this strong, how is it that Frieza stronger than you? Like I told you, he has done some special training and he has a lot of power within himself. Oh man, but tell me one thing, if we were work together, do you think we could beat Frieza? Ha, <laughs> I have no doubt in my mind, because he's not just fighting one, he's fighting both of us. I don't care what kind of training he does, I'm ready to go and take him down if you are. Well, you did lose, I was the one to stand, so you have to join me. Yeah, yeah, I know, no need to rub my face, man. But how about this, are you willing to help me to take down Frieza and at least avenge the Saiyans and avenge all our people? Hmm, <laughs> sounds like a plan. I have an idea too. I'll take you to a place called the Hyperbolic Time Chamber where you can train. But first thing is first, now that you're one of us, it's time to get you out of those clothing. Now you have to become one of the Earthlings. You wear the same gi as me. No way! I don't want to be naked like you, you're like a show off! Uh, naked? What are you talking about? Hey, shut the hell up! Fine then, you just have to wear something other than this Saiyan armor that you wear. Fine, whatever. As Gogeta went and he took Vegito and the rest of the Saiyans towards Boma since they're all waiting there for them to come back. Once when he did, Boma saw Gogeta was badly hurt but at the same time when she saw Vegito she couldn't get her eyes off from him as she had a love at first sight for Vegito. With that, Gogeta asked Boma if she had something for Vegito to wear to be one of the Earthlings as she quickly went and she gave Vegito a new set of clothes. Vegito was amazed to see that Boma was able to make this off the scratch and thanked her as both of them had a connection right there and with that, Vegito went and he wore his new gi. Well then, what do you think about this? <laughs> Looking really good, I like it. Now we could definitely take down that Frieza. And you know what? I'm so excited with us two working together. Nothing on this planet or even the universe could come towards us. Well, the universe is a big place, is what I always tell my friend. 
but you're right. I agree. With us working together, nothing can stop us, but we have to do a lot of training. That is very right. Huh? Whoa! Who's this mini blue guy? Uh, hey, learn some manners. He is a Supreme Kai. Supreme Kai? You lost me there. Forget about me, guys. I'm here to say how amazingly strong you are, but there's something you guys don't know about Frieza. If you're not a subscriber, what are you waiting for? Subscribe now and make sure you click that bell so you'll be the first to know about any new Dragon Ball Z discussion what if I make. Wait, I'm confused. You're saying you're the Supreme Kai and on top of that you're saying that there's something that we don't know about Frieza? Well, I don't know who Frieza is. It's mostly Vegito. He knows who Frieza is. Hey, I think you got something confused here, my friend. Of course I know about Frieza. What do you mean? No, you have no idea just how powerful Frieza is. How about this? I want you guys to come to my world first. Uh, okay. As uh, Supreme Kai went and he took both of them and he Kai Kai to his world. Once when he got there, Vegito and Gogeta were extremely overwhelmed and they couldn't believe just how amazing the world was. But at the same time, they still didn't know who the Supreme Kai is. So Kapito Kai then went and he educated them on what is a Supreme Kai as he told him that he is the one that watches over the entire world and he makes sure his life goes on and etc and therefore they have now been educated what a Supreme Kai is as they couldn't believe that they're in the presence of a god and you know it is not a normal thing where you just sit down normally and someone tells you hey I'm the Supreme Kai here it will definitely trip you out as Vegito and Gogeta couldn't believe it while Vegeta was confused saying my god so you're a god but <laughs> why are you so short that's a weird question. Hey, does it matter about his height? Nah, I'm just asking, you know. I'm curious. Yeah, you're a weird guy. Hey, shut up! Have you seen yourself, Mr. Naked Man? Whatever. Anyway, so what is it about Frieza that you want to tell us? <laughs> you guys have such good sense of humor. But now let's get down to business. Frieza. He is way more powerful than what you guys think. Uh, duh. That's why I came here to get Gogeta to come with me. No. Huh? Frieza is very powerful. He has done a lot of training. Yeah, I know that. But there's something that you don't know. He is on a planet called Planet Namek. That is a planet that has a set of Dragon Balls, which is one of the powerful Dragon Balls after the Super Dragon Ball. The Super Dragon Ball? We'll get to that later. But what you need to know is Frieza's plan is to go and get the Dragon Balls and wish to become immortal. If he does, he'll be very strong. Who knows, even Lord Beerus cannot beat him. Frieza wishing to be immortal and Lord Beerus? Who is that? Again, that's a story for another time. Now what are you guys going to do? Well then, we'll do everything you can to stop him. Well, I'm going to come with you guys. There's no button if. And if thing goes down, I have a trump card for you guys. My god, so Frieza's that powerful, huh? To the point it's getting the gods even scared about him. I told you that bastard is one tricky man. And who knows what kind of shit he has up his sleeve. We have to go and stop him now. What do you say, Gogeta? <laughs> well, we just fought each other. Let's see if we can work as a team. Well, then let's take us there. Very well, then. I'll take you guys there in an the instant. Yeah, about that. How did you get us here that fast? It's called the Kai Kai. I'll teach you guys that later, but first, you must eliminate Frieza. Uh, Supreme Kai went and he Kai Kai'd Gogeta and Vegito to Planet Namek. On Planet Namek, Frieza was on a merge of getting all the Dragon Balls in his possession as he managed to go and slaughter most of the Namekians that were there just to get his hand on the Dragon Ball. Frieza wish was to go in and wish for Immortal so he can be completely strong and his ultimate plan was to overpower Beerus. He felt that he does have the power to do so since he has done a lot of training that no one knows about and that little by little his power is coming out to the light. With that, Gogeta and Vegeta has not arrived to where's planet Namek as they were impressed to see the planet but from there Gogeta sends Frieza's energy and said, Whoa, so I guess that's Frieza, huh? <laughs> I see that bastard magic getting even stronger within the one year I left. Yup, that's him. Okay then, let's go right towards him. As they flew right towards Frieza. With that, Frieza's scatter was going off, sensing two major power coming right before them as he had an idea who it is and with that, Gogeta and Vegito has now arrived. 
Frieza saw them as Vegeta looked towards Frieza and said, Hey, Frieza! Hmm? If it isn't Vegito, tell me, Vegito, what are you doing here? And how did you know I'll be here? And also, what is up with that new clothing of yours? <laughs> You're a fool, Frieza. You wanna know something? I am the one that killed Zarbon and Dodoria. What? That is right. I have been turning against you since the day one. You think I was a loyal subject towards you? Hell no. You destroyed my race? I knew that from the start. And I also know your bastard ass went in train. That's the reason why I have gotten Gogeta. Allow me to introduce you to him. He is just as strong as me. My name is Gogeta. I am from planet Earth. And I have heard a lot about you, Frieza. It is time I killed you here with Vegito's help. <laughs> a pair of monkey things they can take me down. You know what? I am just so ashamed that I have ever had you in my army. I never thought that you'll do this, but deep down in my heart, I knew I could never trust a monkey. Throw a banana towards them, they will lose their brain. Okay then, let's see what- Before Frieza can say another word, Vegito came right in front of him and he striked him across his face, getting Frieza to be sent flying meters away. With that, Frieza stopped and said, Ha! Not bad, monkey! But I see you really want to fight me, then let's go! Let me use just a little bit of my power. Frieza went and he screamed. <laughs> Frieza has now transformed to his final form. Okay then, let's see what you got. With that, Vegeta went and he charged right towards Frieza as he striked him but Frieza managed to dodge it and with that he hit Vegeta back and they were going at it back and forth. With each of the power clashing with one another, the entire world was shaking as Supreme Kai was impressed to see Vegito's power but he was also frightened to see that Frieza still has a lot more power within him. Frieza and Vegito were going at it until Vegito was getting overpowered by Frieza in his final form. With that, Vegito decided to go and he transformed into his Super Saiyan. <laughs> Vegito has now transformed to his Super Saiyan as he managed to go and turn the table on Frieza and with that he began to go and beat the shit out of him. Frieza went and tried to strike Vegito but Vegito dodged it and he kicked him right in his guts and with that he used his spirit sword and he cut Frieza down, getting Frieza to fall towards the ground. Frieza then got up as he began to laugh and say, Haha, <laughs> not bad monkey, I never thought you could go to this power. <laughs> This is called a Super Saiyan Frieza, and I'm not the only Saiyan that has this. My friend Ve Gogeta also possesses the same power. Is that so? Well then, how about I go and show you a little bit of my true training? What? Frieza has now gone and transformed into his golden form. This is just one of my peak of my powers. That is right. Let's see what he can do now. Gogeta was able to sense Frieza's power and said, Damn it. His energy is wilding. He's crazily strong. Whoa. What the? Where did you get this power? <laughs> There's a lot you don't know about me, monkey. I knew from the start that one day you will turn against me, so I had myself prepared, and I also heard a myth about another Saiyan born with your power, that is the reason why I took extra precaution, after all I have to be on top of the food chain. With that Frieza instantly came right in front of Vegito and he kneed him right in his stomach, getting Vegito to gasp for air and with that Frieza decked him across his face as Vegito fell right towards the ground. Gogeta went and he screamed. <laughs> Go 
Gogeta has now transformed into his Super Saiyan as he came right next to Vegito and he picked him up and said, let's take him down together. <laughs> okay then, let's do it. As they both got into ready position, Frieza was impressed and said, bring it on monkeys. With that, Vegito and Gogeta went and charged right towards Frieza as Gogeta decked him right across his face while Vegito went and kicked him. Frieza managed to dodge it but he couldn't dodge Gogeta's head as he got sent flying. Frieza then retaliated as he came right back and he powered up his fist and he tried to deck them. But Vegito managed to go and use an after image strike along with Gogeta and they continued to dodge all of Frieza's attack. With that, Frieza went and he powered up a Nova Blast and he aimed it right towards them. As Gogeta went and he powered up a Kamehameha Wave and he aimed it towards Frieza's blast. And Vegito powered up his Gallic Gun and he helped Gogeta, allowing him to overpower Frieza's ball. And from there, Frieza got hit with his own attack as he fell straight towards the ground. Supreme Kai was speechless as he couldn't believe just how powerful Gogeta and Vegeta are when they work as a team. As they were barely even trying and with that Gogeta looked towards Frieza and said, Come on, is that all the power you got? You know we were just hardly trying with one another. Wow, so this is how we fight we work as a duo, huh? <laughs> we managed to take down Golden Frieza. Not so fast, monkeys. Huh? I must admit, you two fighting together are very strong. Far stronger than what I could even imagine. Who would have thought you monkeys can be this strong? But I have something that you guys never knew. And <laughs> what is that? Ha! <laughs> Are you ready to see? Let me show you what I have achieved over the last 10 years after training a lot. Wait, what? You trained for 10 years? Don't tell me. That is right, monkey. I have been training for the last 10 years. I fooled you when I said only 4 months. This you can call Frieza Black. Frieza Black? My lord, his power is incredible. Oh no, what am I seeing? If you're not a subscriber, what are you waiting for? Subscribe now and make sure you click that bell so you'll be the first to know about any new Dragon Ball Z discussion what if I make. Everyone were really shocked as they couldn't believe what they were witnessing for the very first time. Frieza's power was just exponentially really high. No one imagined for it to be this strong. Nevertheless, he has achieved another form. They have already seen how powerful Golden Form is, but when Golden Form was being overpowered by Gogeta and Vegeta fighting together, Frieza went and he transformed to his Black Form, something which he has gone over at the time of his training. Frieza looked towards him and said, What's the matter, monkey? Has the cat got your tongue? Why you guys are so silent? Uh, what the? How did you get this strong? More importantly, how could he generate that much power? Wait, this doesn't make sense, Frieza. I have seen you train. I knew you had such amazing power, but this? Ha! <laughs> you think I was deaf? I built a walkin' talkie you could say within your own space pod. And I heard everything about what you said to Nappa and Radis when you were a kid. How you want to kill me and that there is someone as strong as you out there and you're gonna find him so you could overrule and take my army from me. Is that so, monkey? Well then, let's see you take it. This is my best shot. Thanks to your threat, I have done everything I can to make sure I stay in the top. How can this guy... Oh, so that was your plan this whole time, Frieza. You're prepared for me, I see. Of course, I'm always prepared for any monkey action. With that, everyone could sense just how powerful Frieza is, as his power got the entire dynamic to be unstable. From there, Gogeta and Vegeta looked towards each other and said, Hey, we should not waste any time. How about we go and attack him with everything we got? Well, it's worth a try then. As they both went and they powered up the key, and with that, their second round has begun. 
Vegito and Gogeta went and rushed right towards Frieza as they went and decked him right across his face while Vegito went and he kicked him but they saw Frieza stood still as he took in all of their hit and he wasn't even phased by it. Upon seeing that got really shocked as he couldn't believe that Frieza was not able to even move or even flinch just from them attacking him. With that, Gogeta went and he powered up a massive Kamehameha wave and aimed it right towards Frieza, but Frieza went and caught it with one finger and he managed to disperse it. Vegito went and he powered up a final flash, a new attack which he has picked up over the time when he was fighting with Gogeta as he aimed it right towards Frieza, but from there Frieza managed to go and easily disperse the attack like if it was nothing. You monkeys don't understand. You don't understand the fact that I am too strong in this form. How about you guys go and bow towards me before I kill you? Tch! <laughs> Over my dead body, Frieza! Vegeta went and he took out his spirit sword and he tried to cut Frieza down but Frieza wasn't even phased by it as Frieza looked towards him and said, Okay then, you had your shot. How about it's now my turn? Frieza went and charged right towards Vegito and he striked him across his face, getting Vegito to be sent flying meters away. Gogeta came and he rushed in as him and Frieza charged towards one another, but Frieza went and he beat the shit out of Gogeta as he punched him a few times, getting Gogeta to fall straight towards the ground. When Vegito and Gogeta got up, they then decided to go and work as a team as they both powered up the key and with that they went and powered up a wave blast as both Gogeta and Vegeta were moving simultaneously and they managed to power up their attack and aim it right towards Frieza. With that, both of their attack got combined with one another as Frieza saw that it was a threat and from there he went and powered up his own attack and he threw it towards their wave, having a wave blast towards one another. Because of Vegito kind of not being simultaneously linked with Gogeta, they managed to screw up the blast attack as they got hit by Frieza's attack and with that they both fell straight to the ground. Supreme Kai was completely shocked as he couldn't believe what he was seeing and said, My word, with the power this Frieza possessed, he's even stronger than Beerus himself. What are we gonna do now? With that, Gogeta got up as he was breathing heavily and from there, Frieza began to laugh and say, You monkeys are quite persistent. <laughs> How about I go and destroy you guys once and for all, and with that, I'm gonna destroy this entire planet. It didn't give me what I wanted. Why are you going to punish this planet, Frieza? You're such an evil lizard! Ha! <laughs> Better than being a pathetic monkey. Now it's time for you guys to die. Frieza went and he began to power up a Nova Blast, which could be strong enough to des destroy the entire world. And with that, he began to power it up. As Vegeta looked towards Gogeta and said, What the hell are we going to do now? I don't know, but if that hits us, we're done for. I've been using 100% throughout this entire battle. So have I. Guys, I have an option! Huh? What is this, Supreme Kai? Really? You got a plan? Here, take this! What the? Why are you giving us your earrings? Trust me, put it in your right ear, both of you guys. When you do, you'll get the power you need to easily beat Frieza. You guys will fuse to become one, and you guys will easily destroy him. Wait, what? You're saying we could fuse with using these earrings? Is that even possible? I never thought that fusion could be an option. Well, it is now. Go and use it. As Vegito and Gogeta didn't know what to do, but at the same time, they need to make a move. If they didn't do nothing, they will all die here along with the Supreme Kai, and therefore it will be a big mess because Planet Namek will be destroyed. With that, Frieza continued to power up his wave and is looking to destroy not just Planet Namek, but half of the galaxy that's part of Namek. Gogeta could sense the danger along with Vegito as they both decide to go and do what Supreme Kai did and with that they both reverted right back to their base as they quickly went and put on the Pectora earring and next thing you know, they have fused to become one. <laughs> oh wow, this power, it's amazing! Gogeta and Vegito has done the impossible as both warrior has gone and fused to become one. With that, Frieza went and he launched his attack right towards Planet Namek as Gogeta and Vegito came right in front of the blast and they dispersed it very easily 
causing a loud explosion. Once when the smoke clear, Frieza saw one warrior was standing there, as it was no one other than Gogeta and Vegito. Frieza was shocked to see him and said, What? Who are you? And where did you come from? <laughs> I guess you have no idea what we have done. You can say Gogeta and Vegito has fused to become one to take you down, Frieza. But a fusion between Gogeta and Vegito, what should we call it? I got it. Call us Gogito! Huh? Fuse? Gogito? Well, you don't know what we're talking about, Frieza, but it's time we go and show you what we're made out of. Ready? Uh, what? As Frieza was completely confused, but Gogito has come right in front of him, as he needed him right in his guts, getting Frieza to gasp for air, and with that, Gogito went and he punched Frieza as he got sent flying meters away. Frieza got up and he began to spit out blood as he couldn't believe that this warrior's two head was that strong to get him bleeding from his mouth. Frieza then looked towards him and said, What the? How the hell did you guys do that? We told you before, Frieza. We are Vegito and Gogeta fuse as one. That's why you have to call us Gogito. And now it's time we kill you. Gogito, without wasting any time, rushed right towards Frieza and he kneed him again in the face as he punched him a few times and from there he went and powered up a final Kamehameha wave and aimed it right towards Frieza. Frieza Black went and he tried to hold the attack but Vegito and Gogeta's power as a fused being was too much for him to handle. Nevertheless, they were only using their base form, they haven't even transformed into their Super Saiyan as they managed to go and crush Frieza and with that their blast went and killed him once and for all, getting Frieza to finally die. Once when Frieza died, Gogeta and Vegito smiled and said, <laughs> Wow, that was very easy without even breaking a sweat. How about... Before they can say another word, both of them has defused as they separated and became right back to their regular self. Oh my god! You guys! You guys were the powerfulest warrior I've ever seen! You guys destroyed Frieza like it was nothing! <laughs> yeah, I guess you're right. And let's not forget, we didn't even transform to our Super Saiyans. Wait, you mean you could have done that? Yeah, but we didn't, because we thought our base would be enough, but how come we separated so fast? Yeah, it doesn't make any sense. I guess because your guys' power was too much for the Patora earrings to handle. At the end of the day, you guys are mortals. It got you both to be separated. But my lord, your power is just amazing! <laughs> thanks. As they went and they got the Dragon Balls from the Namekian, and from there they decided to use it to wish back all the Namekians that has died and that to fix their planet up because they have already done their mission that is to kill Frieza. But that Vegeta looked towards Gogeta and said, Well then, how about we go home and do a little bit of sparring inside that chamber you mentioned? Oh, I'm game. Let's do it then, but for that we need to go right back. Okay guys, I'll gladly take you there. But first wait, you say you'll teach us that move that you use. Alright, the guy guy. Okay then, let's go to my world. I'll teach you both how to use it. As they have now Kai Kai, right back to Supreme Kai's world and Gogeta and Vegeta's training has begun. But little did they knew the stunt they have pulled by transforming into Gogeta. The entire universe, not just universe but the multiverse were able to send such high power coming from them. As the destroyer who was sleeping in his slumber was able to sense that power and he got up and said, What the? What was that power? As he went right back to his slumber. If you're not a subscriber, what are you waiting for? Subscribe now and make sure you click that bell so you'll be the first to know about any new Dragon Ball Z discussion what if I make. Gogeta and Vegito has now arrived to Supreme Kai's world, as Supreme Kai's first task was to go and give them the Z-Sword, he wanted to see if they were strong enough to break it. With that, both Gogeta and Vegito began to laugh since they never willed such a very powerful and strong sword, and they both took turns and, you know, after a couple of shots or so, after wielding it, Vegito was the one who managed to actually pull it out, but Gogeta was the one who was able to wield it, and with that, Supreme Kai wanted to test this how powerful it is, so he threw them a rock, and just like in the cannon, the sword broke, but then it unleashed the old Kai. 
Once when the old Kai came out, he was very thankful for them to for unleashing him, and with that, he suggested for them to do a little bit more training, and that he is going to unleash their potential once when they finish their training. With that, they continue training with Supreme Kai since they want to learn the Kai Kai technique, and as you know it, one year has passed since they're both at Supreme Kai's world, and they managed to finally learn the Kai Kai technique. Upon learning that, they were very amazed that they were finally able to master it, while Supreme Kai was beyond impressed and Old Kai was also impressed that they were able to unleash and use the Kai Kai technique which is only a Kai technique. With that, Old Kai then suggested Vegito to go to a planet called Planet Yadrit as he could learn to control his spirit there and from there, Supreme Kai suggested for Gogeta to go and visit King Kai as he could train him and teach him a new move. With that, both Vegito and Gogeta went to where's their destination? As Gogeta met with King Kai and he felt that he was really weird, after all King Kai is a pretty much a fat short Kai, but he decided to train with him and he learned the Spare Bomb and the Kaioken. While Vegito went to Planet Yadrin, met with the Yadrin and he learned a technique called the Four Spirit Fission. And as you know it, while they're busy doing that, on Earth, King Cole wanted to get his revenge for what Gogeta and Vegito did and his idea was to go and blow up Planet Earth. With that, he has now arrived as Gogeta and Vegeta both were able to sense King Cole's energy from planet Earth and they were impressed that they were able to pick up power level that far and they both Kai Kai there. Once when they got there, they saw that King Cold was there powering up a blast and he aimed it towards the ground. Before it could hit it, Vegito came right from the blast and he dispersed it with one hand and he used his spirit sword and he cut down King Cold while Gogeta went and he killed him with the Kamehameha wave as they managed to easily kill King Cold without breaking a sweat. From there, Gogeta and Vegito decided to go to Boma's place as Boma was very happy to see Vegito again and from there she confessed her love to Vegito since this was her second time seeing him. The first time was on planet Earth before they left to Namek and now she saw him again. As Vegito didn't know what to say but he accepted Boma's love and they both decided to get married. As they got married one another while Gogeta and Vegito continued to go and train and do everything they can to get stronger. Piccolo wanted to join them in their destination and he began training with them as his power level has grown a lot and as you know it, few years has passed since Gogeta and Vegito were training on planet Earth but little did they knew something was happening in South City. On South City, three androids were there as they began destroying everything. Because this is Gogeta and Vegeta what if and that there is no trunks and stuff, no one came to warn them about the android and after all, it's Vegito and Gogeta, you think they need any warning? As they were busy relaxing but when they sensed people dying they quickly went and Kai Kai towards that area along with Piccolo as they confronted three android and from there Jiro looked towards them and said, ah if it isn't Gogeta, wait you know this old guy? What the? Who are you? I am the great Dr. Jiro. So what are you doing here? And why are you killing innocent life? <laughs> I'm here to kill you Gogeta. You have destroyed a Red Ribbon army and because of that, we have a grudge to settle. It is time you die. Before he could say another word, Piccolo went and he took Jiro by his neck and he threw him right towards the ground as he aimed a blast right towards Jiro and Jiro's entire body got exploded. From there, he saw that two androids went and they rushed right towards Piccolo as it was Android 17 and 18 and both of them strike Piccolo right in his stomach. Vegito went and he charged at 18 as the uppercut hurt while Gogito went and he charged towards 17 and their battle has begun. Both of the androids were far stronger than anyone has ever seen before since Dr. Jiro was watching Gogeta his entire life and he also saw the battle of Gogeta and Vegito. He was able to pick up a lot of DNA and stuff just to try to modify his android but it wasn't something that Gogeta and Vegito couldn't handle as both Vegito and Gogeta went and they screamed. Uh Gogeta and Vegito has transformed into their Super Saiyan as the match turned the table on Android 17 and 18 and they began to beat the shit out of him and before they can deliver the finishing blow, they got hit with a solar flare 
as everyone was blind and they couldn't see and with that they saw that the two androids power has disappeared and a new power has arrived as he managed to get even stronger than before and with that it was no one other than Cell. <laughs> Finally, I have achieved ultimate perfection. Huh? What the? Who is this guy? <laughs> I don't know, but how about we both kick his ass? What do you say, Gogeta? I'm game, let's do it. <laughs> I would love to see you guys try. Gogeta, it's a pleasure finally meeting you. I was made for the sole purpose of killing you, but also becoming the strongest to ever exist. Is that so? Alright, good Vegito, stay back. I wanna handle this myself. As Gogeta and Cell stare at towards one another, and with that, their battle has begun. Gogeta went and he charged right towards Cell, while Cell did the same, and both their power clashed at one another, and they were going at it back and forth. <laughs> With each landing blow, the entire earth was shaking, but Gogeta was impressed that Cell was able to hold his own against a Super Saiyan Gogeta nevertheless and said, You're not bad. Tell me, how are you able to keep up with my power? And why the hell am I keep sensing Vegeta within you? Ha! <laughs> that is because I am the ultimate android. I have all you guys' DNA within me. What? DNA? Okay, I had enough of this guy. Gogeta, it's my turn! As Vegito came in from there he went and kicked Cell right across his face, getting Cell to be sent flying meters away. But Cell did a backflip as he charged right towards Vegito and he began to attack him back. This isn't the same Cell which was in the cannon that Super Saiyan 2 Team Gohan fought. This Cell is far stronger since he has Vegito and Gogeta's DNA within him, thus makes his Cell a lot stronger. Cell was able to hold its own against a Super Saiyan Vegito and Gogeta nevertheless as both of them were attacking Cell non-stop and with that Cell went and he uppercut Vegito he gained to be sent flying high in the air and with that he came right behind him and powered up a Gallic gun and aimed it right towards Vegito Vegito tried to hold it up but it was too much as he got hit head on Gogeta saw that as he rushed right towards Cell and he kicked him but from there Cell brushed it off as he struck Gogeta right in his stomach and from there he began to attack Gogeta Vegito then got up as both Gogeta and Vegito decided to power up the key and they decided to go all out towards Cell and with that they decided to attack in non-stop. Cell was really impressed that they were able to hold his own and said, You guys are not bad. It's no wonder Dr. Jiro made sure I killed you guys first. If I want to rule the entire multiverse, I need to get rid of you guys first. <sighs> What's with these villains always trying to rule the multiverse? <laughs> you guys get old and lame. Yeah, he's completely right. If you want to do any of that crap, come through me first. I'll make sure I end you right here. After all, you got a lot stronger by absorbing those androids, huh? Hey, what are you trying to get at, Vegito? As Cell went and he rushed right towards Vegito, and he tried to hit him, but Gogeta went and he kicked him, but Cell brushed it off, and with that he powered up in the blast and aimed it towards Vegito and Gogeta. Both of them got hit by the blast as they both did a backflip and they managed to survive it, and from there they said, Okay, I guess it's time we use more power, what do you say? Yeah, how about I use a technique which I learned from King Kai? What? Behold! Gogeta has now gone and used the Kaioken, mixing with his Super Saiyan. Although in the canon this is completely false, you cannot mix Kaioken with Super Saiyan, it will instantly kill you because Super Saiyan doesn't have pure energy, but hey, it's a what if, and it's Gogeta using it so why not, as we decide to give Gogeta Kaioken Super Saiyan, giving him have a huge boost to his power, and with that he went and rushed right towards Cell, and he kneed him right in his stomach. Cell didn't see that coming as he got hit head hard and from there Gogeta went and kicked him as he began to go and beat the shit out of Cell. Vegeta was really impressed but Cell got really angry and said, You guys want to play like that? Then bring it on! Cell has used his full power as his energy has increased a lot and said, 
Now you both are going to know what it means to die! Cell went and chased right towards Gogeta as he tried to hit him but he was a bit slow. Vegito saw that this was his opportunity to shine as he went and he powered up his fist and he came right in front of Cell and he decked him right in his stomach using the Force Spirit Fission. With that, Cell began to throw up as he couldn't handle what was happening with him and from there he managed to release Android 18 from his body, getting him to revert right back to his semi-perfect. From there, Vegito went and used it again as Cell has reverted right back to his base and from there, Gogeta went and powered up a final Kamehameha and he aimed it right towards Cell as it hit Cell head on and he died right there. With Gogeta's Kaioken Super Saiyan trying to hold his own against Cell and with Vegito's Force Spirit Fission, they managed to destroy the Android without even breaking a sweat as Android 17 and 18 had no idea what to do next but they decided to join the Z Warriors since they saw just how powerful Gogeta and Vegito are. With that, Gogeta and Vegito then made a vow to get a lot stronger as they decided to do extra training but with their training they did with Supreme Kai, they made a promise to Supreme Kai that when the time comes, they're gonna have to go and kill Majin Buu. If you're not a subscriber, what are you waiting for? Subscribe now and make sure you click that bell so you'll be the first to know about any new Dragon Ball Z discussion what if I make. Gogeta and Vegito decide to make a vow to do everything they can to get much stronger within the next 7 years since they wanted to do everything they can to make sure they're both stronger than one another and that they want to always remain on top in case anything happens they're always there to protect planet earth. Although they are very proud Saiyans they do not like the idea of fusing like they did against Frieza where they had to use Gogeta. They only want to use that if it's very very critical of moment but to make sure that moment doesn't come they decide to do everything they can to get much stronger as they both went and they entered the hyperbolic time chamber together and they begun training and as you know it their 7 year training spree has begun. Within those 7 years when it comes to Gogeta's son Gotenks he has grown into a teenage as his power continues to increase and he is just like his father he wants to continue to train while Vegito and Boma just had a child within those 7 year gap and now the child is a 7 year old boy and they want to make him be as strong as Gogeta son but they can't because he has a higher age gap than him. But when it comes to Vegito and Gogeta, they became one of the strongest sparring partner with one another. They continue to work together to try to get stronger but when it comes to teamwork, no one will be able to beat them when they come to teamwork because they were able to study each other's move and technique and able to even link their spirit in case something bad happens they will be able to work together. Once when they finally finish their training spree and they are all relaxing, Supreme Kai has Kai Kai to planet earth to enjoy some food and from there he wants to speak with Gogeta and Vegito. Since it has been a long time he has noticed that they have finally located Majin Buu's whereabout and that he is on planet earth. Upon hearing that got Vegito and Gogeta a little surprised as they couldn't believe that Majin Buu is here and when it comes to Piccolo, he did everything he can to keep up with Gogeta and Vegito and that he was able to increase his power a lot. Thanks to training with Vegito and Gogeta, Piccolo continued to get stronger and he was able to even achieve a new form. Once when they heard the danger about Majin Buu still being there, Supreme Kai then told him that he knew the exact location as Gogeta and Vegeta were excited to go and see just how powerful this Majin Buu is. Piccolo also wanted to come as they all went and they Kai Kai right towards Babidi's spaceship. Once when they got there they saw that King Dubora was already there along with Babidi and at the same time got Supreme Kai to a little trip out because he saw Majin Buu was already hatched. Once when he saw that he began to say, no, but how? He was not supposed to be Hatch! Oh wow, so that f pink f blob is Majin Buu I guess? <laughs> and here we thought that he'll be someone strong. But this makes no sense! It makes a lot of sense Supreme Kai. After all, me and Vegito are very powerful. Our energy was gave him enough boost to hatch from his egg. That explains why over the last 7 years I felt some strange energy but I decided to ignore it. <laughs> why did you ignore it if you could have checked it out? Well where's the fun in that now? After all, I'm not worried are you? Yeah, <laughs> no way. With that they went and they confronted Bobby and Majin Buu. As Bobby told King Dubora to go and turn him into stone 
and before he can, Piccolo went and he decked King Dabura right in his face, getting to be sent flying meters away and he passed out. With that, Babri saw just how strong they were, but he told Majin Buu to go and attack. Majin Buu went and he rushed right towards Gogeta as he tried to attack him but Gogeta dodged him and with that Gogeta went and kneed him right in his face, getting Majin Buu to be sent flying meters away. Majin Buu then got up as Gogeta was easily making sports out of him. Seeing that he didn't stood a chance against Gogeta got Majin Buu to be really angry as he began to blow a lot of steam and before you know it, Majin Buu ended up releasing Evil Buu that was within him. As those two didn't like each other, you know how it is, evil and good, they want to fight and that's exactly what happened. And once when they fought, Evil Buu won the battle as he managed to go and absorb Majin Buu and now he has become Super Buu. So, you guys want to fight with Majin Buu? Then bring it on. Oh, <laughs> you see that? Wow, he managed to lose weight very fast. Who needs any dietitian when you can just do this to lose weight? <laughs> well then, let's fight me. What do you say, Majin Buu? Without any warning, Majin Buu rushed right towards Gogeta. As he tried to strike him, but the same thing happened. Gogeta went and he beat the shit out of Majin Buu. As Majin Buu didn't stood a chance against Gogeta despite the fact that he has become Super Buu and with that he began to stress out as he couldn't believe just how powerful Gogeta was but he saw one way out and that is to absorb Gogeta. Majin Buu did his dirty trick and he managed to go and unleash some of his goo as Gogeta didn't see it coming and next you know Gogeta has now been absorbed within Majin Buu making him completely a different warrior. <laughs> yes, yes, this power is so amazing, wow, no wonder I couldn't beat him, he is so strong, oh god, his energy has to increase a lot, <laughs> yes it has, behold the power of Majin Buu, now you are going to die next, with that Majin Buu went and rushed right towards Vegito and he striked him, getting Vegito to be sent flying meters away. But Jiro then went and did a backflip as he went and screamed. Vegito has now gone and transformed into his Super Saiyan 2 as he showed just a little bit of a display of his power and said, Okay then, you have absorbed my friend, it's time I get all of them back. Ha! You're too weak, I'll still handle- Before Majin Buu could say another word, Vegito went and kicked him right in his face, getting to be sent flying meters away. Vegito then followed as he decked him right across his face, and with that he powered up his fist as he went and used the four spirit fission on Majin Buu. Once when he unleashed the first wave, Vegito saw that Gogeta has been separated from Majin Buu along with Evil Buu getting him to revert right back to his original form. With that he then went and used it again as he saw that Majin Buu went and spat out the old Supreme Kai who finally came out of Majin Buu reverting Majin Buu to right back to Kid Buu. Once when he did, Kid Buu was out of control as he was about to go and destroy the planet since he had no conscience whatsoever but Jito went and shined a blast right towards Kid Buu as it hit him head on and he died right there. Vegito, thanks to his fourth spirit fishing, managed to go and save the day as he saved Gogeta's bacon and with that he looked towards him and said, <laughs> Looks like I saved your bacon yet again, Gogeta. <laughs> what could I do without you, Vegito? Thank you. As both of them got up and with that, they managed to go and end Majin Buu once and for all. Supreme Kai couldn't believe what he saw as he was extremely happy and with that they all went to celebrate but little did they knew. Far in the galaxy, the destroyer known as Beerus the destroyer has fully woken from his slumber as he got all the knowledge from Whis about who Vegito and Gogeta are and with that he was very curious to go and see if they are the Super Saiyan God. Whis then told him that he should not get hopes for the Super Saiyan God but Beerus wanted to do that as he wanted to neglect all of his destroyer work and he wanted to go towards planet earth to confront to see if Gogeta or Vegito are the Super Saiyan God. With that, Weez went and he made his way with Beerus towards planet Earth. 
on Earth. Gojira and Vegeta has now finished their meal as they all relax and with that King Kai quickly went and he alerted Gojira telling him that something is coming towards planet Earth and that something is no one other than Beerus the Destroyer. Once when Gojira heard that he had no idea what Beerus the Destroyer is or who he is whatsoever but from there he has been told that Beerus is coming to see if they are the Super Saiyan God. After getting King Kai's warning, Vegito then was informed about what happened as he was also surprised to hear that a destroyer god is coming to confront them and next thing you know, Beerus has now arrived towards planet earth. Once when he did, he looked towards him and said, Well well, if it isn't Vegito and Gogeta, I heard so much about you two. Huh? So I take it you're Beerus a destroyer, huh? Oh, someone knows about me too, huh? <laughs> yeah, you bet we know about you. And we also hear that you're some type of destroyer god. Is that true? Of course it is. I'm a destroyer for Universe 7. But I have come here to see if any of you guys know anything about a Super Saiyan God. Super Saiyan God? No. It doesn't ring a bell. Ha, huh, bummer. Here, I thought that I'll be able to fight a Super Saiyan God. But I guess that didn't happen. With that, Beerus saw that Broly, Nappa, and even Raditz has finally come as they returned from their training session and they came just a nick of time. Broly then looked towards Beerus and said, What is going on here? Who is he? He's Beerus the Destroyer, some type of destroyer god. Tell me, Saiyan, are you also a Super Saiyan god or do you know nothing about that either? What the heck is that? Uh, I told you, my lord. You just wasted your time. Well then, how about this? Since you guys wasted my time, I'm going to go and destroy this entire world. There's no point of having planet Earth stay in this place to begin with. What was that? <laughs> you tried to destroy my Earth? Over my dead body! Vegito went and he screamed. <laughs> Vegito and Gogeta went and they directly transformed into their Super Saiyan 3. If you're not a subscriber, what are you waiting for? Subscribe now and make sure you click that bell so you'll be the first to know about any new Dragon Ball Z discussion what if I make. Well, Beerus, are you ready to fight with us? Allow me to introduce you to this form. This is known as a Super Saiyan 3. What? Super Saiyan 3, you say, huh? Not bad, Saiyan. This form is really powerful. I can see you guys have a lot of potential within you. <laughs> a lot of potential? You here trying to threaten my Earth and you want us to have some fun games with you? No, we use this form to kill you, Beerus. Unless you leave this planet, we're going to kill you. Is that so? Alright then, I'm really intrigued. Well, let me see what you guys got. Okay then, bring it on, Beerus. You'll be fighting both of us. As Gogeta and Vegeta went right into the ready position, and with that, Beerus did the same as they stared at one another. Gogeta and Vegeta managed to go and transform into a Super Saiyan 3, a power which they have achieved over the last 7 years straight when they were training together and inside the hyperbolic time chamber. With that, they both stared at Beerus, and as you know it, their second round has begun. Vegito and Gogeta told the rest of the Z fires to clear out and they want to fight Beerus alone and from there Gogeta went and he charged right towards Beerus as he went and he kicked him right in his stomach. Beerus tried to dodge it but he got punched in the face by Vegito as he followed up with the kick. Beerus got sent flying meters away. Beerus then did a backflip as he was amazed to see that their power has increased so much and from there Gogeta went and he rushed right towards Beerus and he striked him as Beerus striked him back and they kept it up for some time as both of them were going at it back and forth. Beerus then went and he uppercut Gogeta 
as Gogeta got sent flying but Vegeta went and he striked Beerus right in his stomach and from there Gogeta got up and he did the same as both Vegeta and Gogeta working as a team managed to go and overwhelm Beerus as they decided to use teamwork and from there they rushed right towards Beerus and they continued to attack him. Beerus was being overwhelmed by both of them as he couldn't believe that their power was this powerful and from there he found himself in a predicament as he saw that both Gogeta and Vegeta won and they continued to beat the shit out of him. Beerus tried to do everything he can to dodge their attack but they were too fast after all it is the power of two Super Saiyan 3's going at it trying to attack you with everything they got. Beerus then saw that both of them went and they charged right towards him as they powered up a Kamehameha wave while Vegeta went and powered up a final flash and they aimed it right towards Beerus. Once them in the blast went and hit Beerus head on, everyone heard a very loud explosion and from there they saw that Beerus begun to glow. Beerus has now gone and used his full power as the entire earth continued to shake along with the entire galaxy and from there he looked towards him and said, Alright Saiyans, not bad. I must admit both you guys are really strong but it's time for me to show you guys why I am the strongest destroyer. <laughs> what? You're the strongest destroyer? You heard that right. I have a power which no one has seen before. It is time I show you why I am the strongest. With that, Beerus went and he charged right towards Vegito as he striked him right in his neck getting him to have trouble breathing but from there Gogeta went and charged towards Beerus but Beerus went and kicked him right in his face as he slammed him towards the ground. Beerus then went and threw Gogeta high in the air and he powered up a Hakai wave and aimed it towards him. Gogeta managed to dodge it but from there Beerus striked him right in his stomach getting Gogeta to gasp for air. Vegeta went and he tried to deck Beerus but Beerus dodged him and he kicked him in his face as he kept it up for some time. Despite the fact that both Gogeta and Vegeta were using their Super Saiyan 3 power, Beerus once when he uses full power has shown them why he is the stronger destroyer and why he's stronger than both of them as he continued to go and make sports out of them and with that he continued to slap them around. Gogeta and Vegeta saw that they got themselves in a the pickle and said, how is this guy this strong? It doesn't make any sense. I don't know. No matter how much we attack him, after he uses full power, he's able to counter all of our move. What the hell, man? So this is what it's like to fight a destroyer god, huh? I guess so. <laughs> Have you Saiyans had enough? I am not satisfied. None of you guys has proved to be the Super Saiyan God. And on top of that, you guys couldn't even make me lose a little bit of sweat using my full power. It is time I punish Earth and you guys. Now say goodbye. As Beerus went and he powered up a massive blast. From there Gogeta continued to remember Beerus saying Super Saiyan God as he wanted to know what that is and said, Wait, I think I might know how to get the Super Saiyan God. I'm listening. What is your plan Saiyan? Give me one second. Gogeta then went and he told Vegito about the plan and that is to use the Dragon Balls and ask Shenron what is a Super Saiyan God. They then went and got the Dragon Balls from Boma and once when they summoned it, Shenron has appeared as he was very scared on seeing Beerus but from there they asked him what is a Super Saiyan God. Shenron then told him that they need 5 pure hearted Saiyans powering their energy into one allowing that one to transform into a Super Saiyan God. Once when they heard that they then saw that they have more than enough Saiyans as they have Vegito, Nappa, Raditz, Broly and Gotenks which makes it more than enough to power up Gogeta and give him the power of a Super Saiyan God. As both Gogeta and Vegito did a rock paper scissors and Vegito lost allowing Gogeta to be the one. With that they all decide to go and power up their energy as they all pour their energy into Gogeta and with that Gogeta has now transformed into a Super Saiyan God. Gogeta has now gone and transformed into a Super Saiyan God as he was really amazed with the power and said, Oh wow, so this is what it's like to be a Super Saiyan God he says, huh? <laughs> I can sense your power, you have finally did it you tricky bastard. Alright then Saiyan, let's see what you got. Okay Lord Beerus, do you want to fight me? If I win, I want you to leave this planet and never return. Fair deal, and if you lose, I'll destroy your earth. That'll never happen. 
as Gogeta and Vegito stared at one another and their battle has begun. Gogeta went and rushed right towards Beerus as Beer did the same and both their power clashed with one another and they were going at it back and forth. Despite the fact that Gogeta is transformed to a Super Saiyan God and Beerus is using his full power, both of them seem to be equally tied, as Gogeta went and punched him across his face but Beerus managed to brush it off and he punched Gogeta back, from there Gogeta went and kicked him while Beerus did the same and they kept us up for some time. But with each landing blow the entire galaxy was shaking as Whis was getting concerned what was going on but he could see that Gogeta's power at a Super Saiyan God was able to tie Beerus' power despite the fact that he has done a little training and he's using his full power Gogeta at Super Saiyan God was still equal to Beerus who hardly has no experience in it and the more he uses his power the stronger he gets. Beerus was amazed to see Gogeta's power and said, Not bad Saiyan, here I thought that you'll be actually challenged but it looks like you have proved me wrong, you became more than a challenge. Despite the fact that I'm using 100%, we seem to be equally tied. You're right about that Beerus, but now I'm not gonna let you destroy my world, no matter what. Heh, <laughs> I'm still gonna do that, let's see what you got then. Gogeta won and he charged right towards Beerus and he stacked him across his face. As he got sent flying but from there Beerus did a backflip and he decked Gogeta and they continues up. But from there Gogeta and Beerus saw that someone has arrived as they were glowing. Oh yeah! While you guys are busy fighting outer space, I managed to go and transform myself into a Super Saiyan God. Amazing! So you also got the power of a Super Saiyan God, huh? Wait, but how? Uh, you left, I used my son. He came to help me. Alright! You, your son, my son, and then Radis, Nappa, and Broly. <laughs> That's more than five. Well then, welcome to the gang. How does it feel? It's amazing! Now let me handle him. From there, Vegeta went and charged right towards Beerus as their battle has begun and both of them were going at it, but Gogeta saw that the only way to win was if they were to try to work as a team. And when they did, they managed to easily overpower Beerus. They didn't even have to use more than 30% at a Super Saiyan God as both Vegito and Gogeta simultaneously went and attacked Beerus and they began to beat the shit out of him. Beerus was overwhelmed when he was fighting them individually they were tied but when they work as a team since their home is being threatened by Beerus they managed to beat him up and with that they went and powered up a blow attack to aim it towards Beerus but it wasn't enough to kill him they just wanted to knock him out as Beerus tried to hold up but he couldn't and he passed down. Whis was beyond impressed as both Vegito and Gogeta managed to go and transform into a Super Saiyan God and they managed to beat Beerus a destroyer. Whis came to him and said, My God, your guy's power is amazing. Do you know something? If you guys train with me, <laughs> you guys don't need to work as a team. You guys could easily beat Beerus and even other destroyers. Wait, other destroyers? What do you mean by that? Well, I'll tell you all that later. But how would you like for me to train you guys? After all, I am the one who trained Lord Beerus. Wait, what? As both Gogeta and Vegeta reverted right back to their base since they lost their Super Saiyan God power but they accepted Whis's deal. If you're not a subscriber, what are you waiting for? Subscribe now and make sure you click that bell so you'll be the first to know about any new Dragon Ball Z discussion what if I make. Gogeta and Vegito has finally done it as they work together as a team and they managed to easily beat Beerus using their power of a Super Saiyan God. But with that their Super Saiyan God power has worn out and now it was time for them to get it naturally by training with an angel aka Whis. Whis then come towards him and offered him that he will train them since he was beyond impressed to see that a mortal was able to defeat Beerus the destroyer nevertheless as he was never been defeated over the last decade or even you could say over the last 100 million years. This is the first time and because of that he is ready to go and give his all to Gogeta and Vegito. Gogeta and Vegito were shocked to hear that Whis is an angel and they quickly accepted his offer since they want to become even more strong than they were right now. Beers then woke up as he looked towards him and said, 
<laughs> wow, you mortals are really something. I want to consider you guys my friend. If you guys wanted, you could have killed me, but you guys spared me. Thank you very much. Well, no worries, we're not killers here. But we did learn that your attendant is actually your trainer, and that he's an angel? Oh, that's amazing to know. I cannot wait to train with him. He has offered to train us. Is that so? <laughs> I'd like to see how strong you guys have come. Who knows, maybe you guys could beat me individually instead of working as a team. But I'm looking forward to see what you guys can do. As Beerus shook both Vegito and Gogeta's hand, and with that, they invited him to come and have a feast. This was Beerus and Wee's very first time eating earth food since they are used to eating that junk they eat at Beerus World. God knows what, maybe some canned cat food that they sell at the grocery stores? <laughs> nah, I'm just kidding. But from there, Beerus fell in love with earth food and he wanted to come visit earth frequently just so he could eat their food. As he said his goodbye and Wee's told Gogeta and Vegito to be ready and that he'll come pick them up to begin their training session. As you know it, a few weeks has passed and Weez has come right back to planet Earth and he has now picked up Gogeta and Vegito and they left right towards Beerus' world. Once when they got there, they were overwhelmed on seeing Beerus' world since they never saw a destroyer's world and it was really amazing to them. But from there, they got straight down to business as Weez went and he made them do all the chores that he did in the canon to Goku and Vegeta. Gogeta and Vegito weren't saved from that. They had to do those chores and at the same time, they were doing a lot of training sessions. Weez noticed that these two mortals are beyond amazing since they are very quick learner and they are already able to go and tap in to God Key and transform to Super Saiyan God anytime at will. But their goal was to go beyond that as they continue to go and train with one another and from there as you know it, 6 months has passed since Weez has accepted Gogeta and Vegito to be his apprentice and he begun training them. Within those 6 months, Gogeta and Vegeta has got a lot of strong since they were doing nothing but train while Vegito was doing everything he can to work on his own power trying to mix his 4 spirit fission into a more efficient attack and Gogeta on the other hand was trying to work on his instincts. Beers on the other hand continued to be lazy as he decided to go and take a nap and he decided to rest for another 8 months as 2 more months has passed since Gogeta and Vegito just went to a 6 months of training and they continued to train with Weez. And as you know it, the time has come for Beerus to wake up since he told Weez to wake him up after 8 months, but it wasn't Weez that woke him up. An uninvited guest has arrived to Beerus' world as it was no one other than Champa, Beerus' fat brother. With that, Champa wanted to speak with Beerus since he was looking for the Super Dragon Balls and he wanted to collect them. Once when he did, he wanted to ask Beerus for his own as he saw Gogeta and Vegeta were training and they saw Champa and from there they got really confused. Vegeta looked towards him and said, Whoa, who's this fat Beerus? <laughs> I don't know, I think maybe Beerus has probably eaten too much food while sleeping. <laughs> that is Lord Champa. He is Beerus' brother. And you can see he's from Universe 6. In the parallel version of this universe. What? With that, Whis then went and explained to Gogeta and Vegito about the universes and the parallel of each of the universe and all, and they got the full knowledge of the multiverse. Once when they did, Champa had no idea who they are as he talked to Beerus to give him the Super Dragon Balls. Beerus has declined and from there, Vegito and Gogeta heard about it and they want to know what is a Super Dragon Ball. They know about the regular Dragon Ball which is Shenron and they also know about Dynamic Dragon Ball which is Parunga. With that, Champa told them to mind their own business as Beerus told him, you should show them a little bit more respect Champa. They managed to beat me as a tag team. What? You got beaten by a bunch of mortals? You're so weak, brother! <laughs> is that so? You do know that he can beat you easily if they were to fight you individually. You're far weaker than I am. What did you say? Hey, I'm more curious about the Super Dragon Balls. Is it true that I could wish back Planet Vegeta? I mean, yeah, he could do whatever wish you want. Really? Well then, how about we get those Super Dragon Balls? Cha! <laughs> you wish! Hey, how about this then? You two are brothers, huh? How about me and Vegito versus you and Champa? Wait, what? Are you serious, Gogeta? I'm really serious. What do you say, Vegito? Well, I wouldn't mind that. Heh, <laughs> you mortals think you guys can beat two destroyers? Beating me was one thing, but having two destroyers fight, especially my brother, that's another thing. Well, do you accept it? You bet. As they both decide to go head to head to see who will win, which duo will win, will get the Super Dragon Balls. Champa thought this was just all BS, but from there, Gogeta and Vegeta, without wasting any time, went and transformed into their Super Saiyan God.
with that, they both looked towards him and said, Are you ready to lose? Well, let's see what you guys got. Ha! Ah, is that so? Well then, bring... Before Champa can finish his word, Gogeta went and he striked him right in his stomach, while Vegeta went and he striked Beerus and their battle has begun. Beerus went and striked Gogeta back, while Vegeta went and he kicked Champa, and from there, both of them were going at it head to head. With each landing blow, the entire world was shaking, but Vados and Whis went and used their staff to make the planet not shake and to be stabilized, as Beerus and Vegeta were going at it, while Gogeta and Champa were going at it. With that, both Beerus and Champa saw that in order for them to even stand a chance and win, they would have to use their full power, as they both went and they powered up to their destroyer mode. Then, you mortals think you can beat us? <laughs> if I were you, I wouldn't underestimate them, Champa. But he's right. Two destroyer versus two mortals? This will be a kind of easy win. With that, their second round has begun. Vegito and Gogeta went and charged towards Beerus and Champa, as they both did the same in their power clash with each other. Champa went and he striked Vegito, while Vegito went and he kicked Beerus, and Gogeta went and he striked Champa, and from there, they continued this for some time, as they continued to land blow to blow with one another. Champa was impressed to see that these mortals were able to have God Key nevertheless and even pushed the destroyers to this far as he was shocked to see that and said, How can these mortals be this strong? I totally don't underestimate them Champa. I'm not! But we're using our full power, we should have beat them! You do know that Gogeta and I have more power than this. What? What do you mean more power? Unlike your lazy ass you've been sleeping the whole time Beerus, we were here training. Are you ready Gogeta? <laughs> I'm ready, Vegito. Let's do it. As Gogeta and Vegito went and they screamed. Gogeta and Vegeta went and they transformed into their Super Saiyan Baloo, a Super Saiyan God, Super Saiyan version of their Super Saiyan God. As Beerus and Chapa couldn't believe what they were seeing and with that Vegeta went and he decked Beerus right across his face, getting Beerus to gasp for air as he went and kicked him high in the air and he powered up a final flash and aimed it right towards Beerus, getting it to be get hit head on and he passed out. Gogeta went and he kneed Champa on his face twice as he went and he powered up a blast and he aimed it right towards Champa, getting him to head head on and he passed out. Gogeta and Vegeta without breaking a sweat at Super Saiyan Blue were able to beat Champa and Beerus nevertheless two destroyers as Weez and Vados was really impressed, especially Vados she couldn't believe that they were this amazing and powerful and the word went out to the multiverse that two mortals were able to beat two destroyers from universe 7. With that some of the god of destruction did not like what they heard as they decided to do a little mini summit with the ones who were upset and said, what the hell is this I'm hearing on universe 7? Well, apparently there is a mortal who exceed our level. But mortal should be beneath us, not above us. You're right about that. We need to do something about these mortals and fast. We cannot let them be stronger than us, God. That was an embarrassment for Beerus and Champa. Well, they managed to beat Beerus and Champa. I say let's go and do something to them. I'll say kidnap them, tie them up somewhere or something. He always goes so far, Vermont. I'm serious. I feel really disrespected. It is a matter of time before they end up surpassing us and even be at the angels level. Well then, let's go do it. If you're not a subscriber, what are you waiting for? Subscribe now and make sure you click that bell so you'll be the first to know about any new Dragon Ball Z discussion what if I make. Well, I'll be honest, 
I don't like the fact that those two are able to overpower us, the Destroyer. Hey, now you're getting ahead of yourself. Who said he's stronger than us? He's the stronger than weakling Beerus and even Champa. Those two are hardly our level. Are you sure about that? This is Beerus we're talking about. He is really strong. Ha, <laughs> hardly. And now if you guys are so worried, I have a plan. These mortals are just mortals. We could easily wipe them out. We'll ambush them. And how do you expect to do that? Leave it to us. We'll figure out a way to ambush these guys. On Beerus' world, Champa couldn't believe that Gogeta and Vegito were able to beat him and Beerus working as a team, despite the fact that both of them went and used their destroyer mode. Vegito and Gogeta went and they transformed into a Super Saiyan Blue, allowing them to overpower Beerus and Champa. And because Gogeta and Vegito have such good chemistry with one another, they were able to overpower Beerus and Champa making them be known in the multiverse but little did they knew that the other destroyers do not like the fact that they're getting strong at a very quick pace and that they're making plans against them. With that Beerus was beyond impressed as he told Gogeta and Vegeta to keep training and from there he decided to go and take Vegito and tell him that he'll train him himself and give him some special power or you could say go towards the destroyer path as he could see that Vegito has a lot of ego inside him and that he is ready to learn that. Whis on the other hand wanted to make sure that Gogeta continued to train with him so he can also go towards the same path and get stronger as Whis decided to go and call Mirrors to help Beerus out while he works on Gogeta and with that Beerus and Mirrors was working on Vegito and as you know it a few months has passed as they were doing a lot of training but Beerus lazy ass wanted to go to sleep so he decided to stop training Beerus and he went straight to sleep while Vegito continued to train with Mirrors while and Gogeta was training with Whis. With that, Dai Shinkin wanted to see Beerus and Whis as he called them to come to Zeno's world. And from there, Beerus woke up getting really nervous and scared on why Dai Shinkin wanted to see him. And at the same time, Vegito and Gogeta had no idea who is Dai Shinkin. But they just heard that Dai Shinkin summoned him and they have to go. Whis then told him that he'll explain to them everything as Zeno also wants to see them too. Zeno is the king of everything. But they had no idea what the king of everything is and from there Whis and Beerus left to make their way towards Dai Shinkin's world, leaving Gogeta and Vegito to be alone on Beerus' world. Vegito had his eyes set on the Super Dragon Ball since he heard that it could wish for anything and his idea was to go and use it to bring back planet Vegeta. As he told Gogeta the idea, Gogeta at first didn't know about that idea but from there he agreed that they can do that and make more Saiyans be alive in this universe as he also was on board with that idea. While they're waiting for Beerus and Whis to return they decided to do their training and when they're sparring one another they heard a couple people laughing as they looked around and said what the who there hi I'm a destroyer so am I and so am I uh I'm sorry to let you guys know, but Beerus isn't here. We know. We actually came here to ask your guys for help. Our help? Well, Beerus told us to come get you guys. Something bad is happening towards your planet. We heard that your planet is in danger and that we are here to help you guys. What? What happened to planet Earth? How is it in danger? Yes, that's the planet, planet Earth. And I'll explain to you everything. Come with us. Uh, okay. As Gogeta and Vegeta had no idea what's going on and from there they decided to go with the destroyer. The destroyer went and led them to another planet, a remote planet which they have never been on. And upon seeing that they then said, hey wait, this isn't my world, what the hell's going on? <laughs> you really think that we're gonna take you to your world? We're actually here to kill you. What? Kill us? What the hell do we do to you guys and why do you want to kill us? You mortals are too strong, and from what I heard rumors going on, if Lord Zeno wants to hold something where all the mortals are participating and our universe is on stake, having you guys participate will be no fair. After all you guys decide to go and climb your way towards the power of the god, well now you're gonna suffer the power of the god. Tell me one thing, does Beers knows about this? Ha! <laughs> that loser has no idea, he's gonna die too once he finds out, but we are here to get this done as soon as possible before anything happens. What do you mean before anything happens? I'm confused. Enough of your chit chat. It is time you guys die right here. There's no way we're gonna allow mortals to be stronger than us. So you destroyers really are that dirty, huh? 
Well, we heard that you beat Chompa and Beerus, but remember, we aren't Chompa and Beerus and there is three of us, not two. And on top of that, we are much stronger than them. He is right. We are much stronger than those losers. Now you're gonna know what it means to be at the level of a god. You're dying to get the god power? Well then here it is. With that, Rumshi, Haley, and Liquor went and they powered up the key as they're getting ready to go and kill Gogeta and Vegito. Without wasting any time, Gogeta and Vegeta went and they already transformed into their Super Saiyan Blue. Okay then, you guys want to kill us? Bring it on! Yeah, like he said, there's no way in hell we're gonna let you guys before they can finish a sentence. Liquor went and he strike Gogeta right in his face as Gogeta managed to dodge it but from there Ramshi went and he uppercut him, getting to be sent flying high in the air while Haley's went and she's striking right in his back. Vegito went and he charged right towards him as he didn't like the idea that they're teaming up on Gogeta but with that all three of them went and they put their tension towards Vegito as they charged right towards him and they strike him too. They knew that for this to win, they need to not let Gogeta and Vegeta work as a team. As Rumshi and Haley's went and she continued to attack Gogeta, but from there Vegito managed to go and headbutt Liquor, but Liquor went and he strike Vegito back and they're going at it. These destroyers were definitely on another level compared to Beerus and Champa. It is what Vegito and Gogeta noticed as both of them were doing everything they can to survive. While Vegito went and he strike Rumshi, but he saw that, Haley's went and she threw a Hakai Blast right towards him. Vegeta went and he managed to disperse the attack. With that, Gogeta went and he striked them right in their guts, but from there, Rumshi went and he decked Gogeta, while Liquor went and he tried to attack him, but Gogeta did a black flip and he clicked him right in his stomach. Man, these guys are really strong. Gogeta, we cannot be left alone. Let's work together as a team. That's the only way you could beat them. Do you have way more power than this? Of course I do. I think they're here for blood, so let's kill them too. <laughs> Is that so? Alright guys, let's all power up to full power! With that, all three destroyers went and they charged right towards Gogeta and Vegito and they striked them as they powered up to full and they began to beat the shit out of Vegeta and Gogeta. Vegito and Gogeta were surprised to see that they were being overpowered by these three destroyers as they were doing everything they can to attack them but each time they tried it was three against two and they managed to go and backflip and attack them back. With that Gogeta got angry and said, okay then Vegito, I don't want to crush your pride but I'm going to end these bastards right here and now. Huh, you say you have another power beyond this? Of course I do, I'm going to end them now, well then I'm going to join you too, as Vegito went and he screamed. Vegito has now gone and transformed into his Super Saiyan Blue Evolution. As he stared right towards him and said, This is my power beyond a Super Saiyan Blue. Now you guys want to fight me? Bring it on. Not so fast, Vegito. I'm also going to join you too. Gogeta has now gone in youth, Kaioken times 20 with his Super Saiyan Blue. As Gogeta was ready to go for the kill while Vegito was using his Super Saiyan Blue evolution and with that they both went and walked right towards the destroyer and said, okay then you guys want to fight us, bring it on. <laughs> yeah, I'm ready to end this, let's go. Gogeta and Vegeta went and they rushed right towards the destroyer and with that they managed to go and deck Haley's right in her stomach getting her to gas for air while Vegeta went and he finally flashed her and from there Gogeta went and threw her right towards the attack as she got hit by Vegeta's attack and she died right there. Liquor and Rumchi saw that this was getting serious and from there they both went and used more power and they rushed right towards Vegito and Gogeta 
But Vegito and Gogeta split out as Gogeta went and he took Rumshi by his face and he kneed it three times and from there Gogeta went and he powered up a finish breaker and he threw it right to where is Rumshi as was a new blast that he learned from Whis and that blast went and he eliminated Rumshi getting him to be completely dusted. Vegito went and he uppercutted Liquor as he got sent flying high in the air but from there Liquor went and strike Vegito but he blocked it as Gogeta came and from there Gogeta headbutted Liquor and from there both Gogeta and Vegeta went and charged right towards him and they began to beat the shit out of Liquor as Liquor didn't stood a chance against these two and said you guys are monsters you guys need to die no you destroyers are monster killing innocent lives for no reason it's time you guys die right here Vegito and Gogeta went and shined a blast right towards Liquor and he died right there Vegito after using Super Saiyan Blue Evolution power while Gogeta using his Kaioken times 20 with the Super Saiyan Blue managed to go and put an end towards 3 destroyers as they were really burnt out but from there Supreme Kai has come right in front of them as he Kai Kai and said guys are you okay what the heck happened what do you think happened we got ambushed by these destroyers tell me Supreme Kai are the destroyers coming to kill us now I don't know but from the look of it I think it's safe to say yeah let's go we need to plan something If you're not a subscriber, what are you waiting for? Subscribe now and make sure you click that bell so you'll be the first to know about any new Dragon Ball Z discussion what if I make. Oh my god, so what exactly happened here? I don't know, we were just chilling at Beerus' world and next thing you know, these three destroyers came to us and they told us that Earth is in trouble and that they're here to help us and that Beerus sent us here. What? Okay, let's go to Beerus' world. We'll figure everything out there with him. As Supreme Kai went, and he Kai kai Gogeta and Vegito to Beerus' world. Once when they arrived to Beerus' world, Beerus and Whis hasn't returned yet. While Supreme Kai was sitting there waiting for Beerus and Whis to come, and from there, they saw they have now arrived. As Beerus looked towards him and said, What's going on? Why you guys look so intense for? Something happened, Lord Beerus. Huh? What do you mean something happened? Well, apparently... Destroyers are trying to jump Gogeta and Vegito. They think they're too strong for the multiverse and they want to kill them. What? They cannot do that. I mean, they very well can, my lord. That's why they're destroyers. They're able to go and, and do whatever they like. So what the hell happened? Which destroyers tricked you guys? With that, Gogeta and Vegito told them everything. How Rumshi, Hillies, and even Liquor went and they all tricked them telling that Beerus sent them there to help them but they took them to a remote planet where they tried to slaughter them. Gogeta and Vegeta told them they had no choice so they went and used their full power and they managed to kill three destroyers. Upon hearing that got Beerus to be very shocked as Champa has arrived and said I heard the news about three destroyers dying what's going on? Well there's something you need to know then. Beerus then told Champa as he was also extremely shocked but at the same time he said ha what do you expect from these mortals they beat us i'm not surprised they beat them too oh man so you bastards took down three destroyers huh god damn how powerful you guys are <laughs> well we just use our full power i managed to stack my kaioken with my super saiyan blue and i managed to go something beyond it super saiyan blue i guess you could call it what super saiyan blue evolution hey it's still not powerful than me i say we're tired what do you think yeah, to make it fair and to save arguments, you can say we're tied. Well, I think it's best we report this to Father. Tell them what's going on. As Wee's staff began to glow and they saw, Dai Shinken has ordered all the angels and destroyers for a meeting. With that, Beerus had to go back again, as he told them to stay tight and they'll come right back to see what's going on. And they have all went to Zeno's world. Once when they went to Zeno's world, all the destroyers were there as Dai Shinken looked towards them and said, I heard everything that happened. It appears three of our destroyers has died by the hands of mortals from Universe 7. What? Universe 7 mortals? But how can I be? I knew it. Ever since I heard they beat Beerus and Champa, I knew they'll be dangerous. Their power is growing rapidly. What the hell do we do? Hey, that's not true. Huh? Those destroyers came to try to attack them. They had no idea what to do, so they did self-defense. Well, it doesn't matter. But father, 
He's telling the truth. Unfortunately, Weez, there's three angels to testify. Otherwise, as Weez looked towards the angels and said, How could you guys lie about this? Shame on you guys. Listen here. I have no idea what to do. All I know is that these mortals need to be contained. They cannot go out destroying destroyers for no reason like that. And because of that, they'll have to face the consequences that's going to happen next. I hereby order all the destroyers to go and eliminate these mortals only if Beerus and Weez fail to do so. Huh? What do you mean, father? Well, Beerus, you have five days. I want within those five days for you to go and kill those two mortals. Fail to do so, I'll get the destroyer to kill them and even kill you. But father, you're acting very out of character. This isn't the way. Weez, enough. After all, they're mortals. You're a god. Learn your ways. You're not supposed to stick up for mortals like that. We are superior to them and they need to know that. They cannot continue climbing on power and try to kill us. We are not here for their punching bag. Okay, father. I see you have already made up your mind. Yes, I have. Now, this is the order. You two must go and eliminate them, otherwise your universe will be in trouble. A destroyer is coming to destroy you guys. It's not good. With that, Beerus did not like Dai Shinken as he got really angry and at the same time he knew he can't do nothing to Gojira and Vegito. If he tried, they would easily kill him. So he was in the pickle. If he doesn't kill them, he'll die by the other destroyers and the universe 7 will be destroyed. Or if he ends up trying to kill them magically, Gojira and Vegito will kill them anyways. Beerus then came right back to his world as Supreme Kai was very stressed out because he was also there in the summit and Weez and Beerus. Gojira and Vegito asked what happened as Beerus looks towards him and said, It is not good. They want you guys dead. All the gods want you guys dead. And if you guys don't die, they're gonna come and kill me and destroy this universe. What? They're gonna destroy universe 7? Yes, unfortunately that's what is going to happen. Oh no! What do we do now? Wait, I have an idea. Weez, Beerus, you're not gonna kill us, are you? No way, we're on your guys' side. You guys are in the right. My father is in the wrong. I agree with Weez, I'm always gonna be by your guys' side. Besides, if I try, you bastard will kill me. <laughs> Anyways, I have an idea. Let's go inside the hyperbolic time chamber. They said five days, huh? All we need is two days. In two days, me and Gogeta training with you guys, we will get so strong, we'll end up eliminating all those destroyers. Hey, you guys could do that? <laughs> well then, what are you guys waiting for? Let's go into the chamber, what do you say? As Beerus really liked that idea and he decided to go train Vegito with Miris while Whis continued to train Gogeta and from there they went and entered the hyperbolic time chamber as they spent two days training in their non-stop which equals two years and from there Gogeta and Vegito managed to get a lot stronger than before as they were able to achieve new power after all, this is the first time training for so long with Weez and Miris and even Beerus. From there, they have now all emerged out of the chamber as Beerus got a huge power boost since he was training in there for two years. And now he looked towards him and said, Well then guys, this is it. You guys are ready to go in war? We've been ready. Now let's have some nice feasts and enjoy the next three days. They said five days, huh? Two days is gone? Let's go. And watch, once when they come, we will easily handle them. I'm more than confident that we could destroy all the destroyers now. <laughs> I won't doubt you guys, I know very well you'll do it. Champa told me he won't enter the fight but he will only be there since he is ordered to do so. So don't attack him, okay? He's on our side. You got it. As they all went and enjoyed the feast and they'd begun to chill. And now 3 days has passed and total 5 days has passed. And Dai Chicken saw Beerus and Weez failed to do so. As he made an order to all the angels and destroyers saying, Attention destroyers, it appears Beerus has failed to do his mission. You are now free to go to Universe 7 and eliminate the target. Make sure the mortal Gogeta and Vegito are dead. With that, all the destroyers got their angels to get ready to take them to Universe 7. Gogeta and Vegito were busy eating, chilling, and doing everything can while Beerus was trying to do the same. And from there, they all sensed a swarm of enemies coming to their universe as all the destroyers has now arrived to kill them. Gogeta and B Vegito also got their men to come as they had Broly, Piccolo all ready to go and enter the battlefield. From there they have all arrived. <music> Woo! 
Well, well, it looks like you failed to do your mission, Beerus. And now we're ordered to destroy this planet, this universe, and you. We are gonna first destroy you guys and then Hawkeye everything. And that's when Lord Zeno's gonna erase this universe. What? Zeno's involved in this? Well, he has no idea. But I'm sure the Grand Priest will inform him about the matter and he'll have to erase this universe. Heh, <laughs> for that, you're gonna get through us first. You bastards won't stand a chance against us. Yeah, I agree! As Champa came over to Beerus' side and from there, he powered up his key. Okay, I see we got some traitors, then let's battle! Alright then, bring it on! With that, Piccolo went and he used his full power. Piccolo has now used his orange form. With that, Broly went and he screamed. Broly has now gone and transformed into his legendary Super Saiyan Blue. Beerus went and he used his Ultra Instinct as he began to power up his key to his fullest while Vegito and Gogeta smiled and said, Are you ready Vegito? Ha! <laughs> I'm more than ready Gogeta. You have entered the path of the angels and I have entered the path of the destroyers. With the path of angel and destroyers, let's end all the destroyers. From there, Gogeta and Vegito went and they screamed. Vegito has entered the destroyer path as he managed to master to his fully and now he has transformed into his Ultra Ego. <laughs> Gogeta has gone and he has now finally entered the Angel Path as he managed to go and transform into his master Ultra Instinct. With those two years inside the chamber, he was able to achieve Ultra Instinct and even master it as he has now gone and transformed to his master Ultra Instinct form. If you're not a subscriber, what are you waiting for? Subscribe now and make sure you click that bell so you'll be the first to know about any new Dragon Ball Z discussion what if I make. Gogeta and Vegito, what is there to say about these two badass warriors we have right here? As they both went and they transformed into their full power, Vegito went and used his Ultra Ego and Gogeta went and used his Master Ultra Instinct, the power which both of them has managed to achieve over their training inside the hyperbolic time chamber. Dai Shinkin has wrongly accused them for something they didn't do and ordered all the destroyers to go and finish them off. But with that, they had no idea that Gogeta and Vegeta will be this prepared. You guys really think you'll beat us, huh? <laughs> we don't think. We know. We'll easily kill all your destroyers right here and now. Exactly. None of you guys stood a chance against us, and we will make sure you guys remember who we are. Sure. That's why we hate mortals like you, and that's the reason why the Grand Priest ordered us to kill you. Oh, my father has lost his mind if he thinks that these two are dangerous to the multiverse. But if he wants war, then we'll give them war. Well, whatever you say, Whis, I'm on your side too. <laughs> I'll ride and die with Gogeta and Vegeta until the end. So let's see what they got. And with that, everyone was now ready to go and attack the Destroyer as their battle has begun. Beerus and Piccolo went and they charged right towards Universe 3 Destroyer and they began to attack him. With that, Broly went and he powered up his key as he was using his legendary Super Saiyan Blue. Nevertheless, and from there he went and rushed right towards Ivan and he strike him across his face. Ivan flew meters away as he was using his destroyer power and with that he came right towards Broly 
while Broly did the same and their power clashed with each other and they were going at it, back and forth. Ivan was a destroyer from Universe 1 as he was doing everything he can to hold his own but this was legendary Super Saiyan Blue Broly. Broly was overpowering this guy like if he was nothing and with that he went and powered up a blast and said, it's time you go to hell and die with the rest of the destroyers. Broly went and aimed the blast right towards Ivan as Ivan couldn't contain the blast and he died right there. Gogeta and Vegeta were facing destroyers from Universe 5 and Universe 12 as Gein and Ark decide to work together to take those two down. After all, it is said that those two are one of the strongest destroyers. With that, they all went and they powered the key to the fullest and from there they charged right towards Gogeta and Vegito. Gogeta and using his Master Ultra Instinct power was easily able to see all of Ark's attack as Ark went and he tried to attack him but Gogeta dodged it and from there he went and kneed him right in his stomach, getting him to gasp for air. From there, Vegito saw that Gein was trying to power up a Hakai attack to erase Gogeta so he came right from the blast since he is also has destroyer essence he was able to dodge it and from there he said, you forgot who I am? I am Vegito, I'll easily go and destroy your attack. Is that so? Well then let's see what you got. As Gein went and he charged right towards Vegito, Vegito did the same and their power clashed with one another and they were going at it. With each landing blow, everyone was seeing that the entire universe was shaking, while Gogeta looked towards Ark and said, It is time you know the definition of what it means to fight a mortal. We won't stand down to nothing. Ha! <laughs> you guys are pathetic. Just like your pathetic destroyer. Oh yeah? That's the reason why you guys are losing to us. Tim, look around buddy. It's us who's winning. As Ark saw that Broly killed Ivan, while Vegito was overpowering Gein, and with that, he saw that Beerus and Piccolo managed to go and destroy three destroyers as they were working together. Broly came to help and they continued to kill all the destroyers as Body was piling up. He then got really angry and said, Let me show you why I am known to be the strongest destroyer. Ark went and he used his destroyer mode as his power was overwhelming everyone and from there he came right in front of Gogeta and striked him in his stomach. Despite the fact that he had Master Ultra Instinct power, he wasn't able to see it. Gogeta was shocked to see that as Ark went and he began to power up Hakai Blast and aim it towards Gogeta. Gogeta managed to punch them away as he came right in front of Ark and from there he kneed him in his stomach. Ark was trying to dodge it but Gogeta's knee was really powerful as he managed to break his guard and from there Gogeta went and he powered up a Stardust Breaker and said, It is time you know my true power, now die! Gogeta went and aimed the Stardust Breaker right towards Ark as Ark went and he powered up his strongest destroyer power and aimed it but it got erased as the Stardust Breaker came right in front of him and it killed Ark right there. But G2 on the other hand went and he began to beat the shit out of Gein and as you know it he powered up a final flash destroyer mode which is a Hakai final flash and aimed it right towards Gein. Gein tried to hold it off but he couldn't as it killed him right there and he died. All the destroyers who came to fight and destroy Universe 7 managed to fail their mission as Broly, Beerus, Piccolo, Vegito and Gogeta were enough to stop all of them and they worked as a team to beat the shit out of all the destroyers and kill them since they were doing everything they can to protect their home from these destroyers. While all the destroyers were losing, Whis was watching a battle as he was very confused on his father's actions since none of the angel expected Dai Shingen to make such judgment call and from there Whis decided to go and visit Dai Shingen to see what is up with him and wants to know if Zeno has any idea. With that, Gogeta and Vegito saw that Whis was getting ready to leave as they came towards him and said, Hey Whis, where are you going? Yeah, what's happening Whis? Well, there's something's up. I have a feeling Zeno has no idea about what my father did. What? You mean he's acting on his own? But from what you told me, that's very unangel like. It definitely is. But I have no idea. That's why I'm gonna go and confirm to see if it's true or not. I'll be right back. Wait, let us come with you. We'll back you up. Yeah, Weez, you're not going there alone. We'll come and help you. Okay, then I'll take all you guys. Let's go. As uh, Supreme Kai went and he kai kai everyone, while Gogeta and Vegito told Beerus to protect Earth and watch everyone until they come back. With that, they have now Kai Kai to Zeno's world. On Zeno's world, they saw that everything was empty. No one was there and it was very quiet. As Whis was checking around to see where is Lord Zeno, but he found out that Lord Zeno was nowhere to be found. That was a very weird. Out of all the places, Zeno should always be at his home base. Like, that's your own home. But he's not there. Something is up. 
as Whis continued to search and from there they all encountered Dai Shinkin as he was sitting on Zeno's throne and said, well well looks like you guys managed to go and destroy the destroyers huh? With that they saw three other angels were standing next to Dai Shinkin as Dai Shinkin smiled. What the hell? Why are you trying to kill us? What did we ever do to you? Are you worried about us? Do you think we'll overpower all the angels? Ha! Huh. I don't give a crap about you guys. This is all part of my plan. Plan? Father! What is going on with you? I needed the Omni King to be distracted so I could go with the real goal. But you mortals are very dangerous, I must admit. You guys' power is something else. You guys managed to go and overpower destroyer like they're nothing and even <laughs> defeat all destroyers very easily. Call me impressed. Well, what do you expect? Our motivation is to protect our home from evil like you. Is that so? Well then, your only chance at winning is fighting me. If you guys beat me, you'll get to have the easy pass. Where is Zeno, father? I'm gonna tell him everything you're doing. Yeah, that's right. Where's the Omni King? Show us him. <laughs> I have managed to get the Omni King to leave. He is away, you can say. Away? What do you mean? You don't tell me. Father, did you use your staff to seal the... The Omni King? You could say something like that. He was getting in my way. I have bigger plans for this. But first thing is first. I'm gonna get rid of these two mortals myself. Angels, you know what to do. Vegito and Gogeta were already inside the Master Ultra Instinct and Ultra Ego as they looked to each other and said, Are you ready then, Gogeta? Ha! I'm definitely ready, Vegito. Let's do it! With that, they both went and they powered the key as they rushed right towards the angel and from there they decided to attack it. One of the angels went and used their staff but Vegito managed to go and break it while Gogeta went and kicked him. The other angel came and kicked Gogeta down while Vegito came to help and from there both of them decided to work as a team and from there they began to attack them. While that was happening, Dai Shinkin was looking towards Whis with anger and said, You have betrayed me Whis. Father, I'm always gonna stay by their side. You're evil. You even kidnapped the Omni King. For that, I'm gonna make sure justice is served. And how you expect to do that? You're too weak. I'll unleash him from your staff. Whis went and he used his angel instinct as he came right in front of Dai Shinkin and took his staff. Before he could do anything, Dai Shinkin went and strike him right across his face, getting Whis to be sent flying. Dai Shinkin saw that Gogeta and Vegeta managed to go and knock the angel down as they came right in front of Whis, and from there Dai Shinkin smiled. Well then, are you trying to attack Whis all by himself? We're not gonna let that happen. I already did. As he saw that it was a decoy and Whis got stabbed in the stomach by Dai Shinkin. Seeing that Whis has died right there got Vegito and Gogeta to be extremely shocked as they couldn't believe what they saw and from there Dai Shinkin looked towards him and said, You really want to fight me? Let me show you a little peek of my power. If you're not a subscriber, what are you waiting for? Subscribe now and make sure you click that bell so you'll be the first to know about any new Dragon Ball Z discussion what if I make. I don't get it. Why are you doing this? Yeah, what the heck you have against us? What did we ever do to you? <laughs> It has nothing to do with me personally, but the fact that your guys' power is continuing to increase a lot, it shows me that you guys will one day be a danger to the multiverse. After all, no mortal's power far exceeds all the destroyers, but your guys do. So you want to kill us because we have higher power than the god? That is right. But then why did you steal the Omni King away? He's just a pawn in my game. He always gets in the way. You're sick! Just because of your stupid game, you went and killed Whis! He's the weakling. He chose you over me, and because of that, he is going to die. Now, who's right to die next? As Vegito and Gogeta saw that Dai Shinkin went, and he used his final form. Which is funny, he was at 1.4 feet, but now with his final form, he grew to 7 feet tall. 
They all got worried to see that as his power was massively high and from there Daishinken went and he came right in front of Gogeta and striked him across his face. But Jito went and he powered up his key as he caught Gogeta and from there they both went and rushed right towards Daishinken as their power clashed with one another and they were going at it. With each landing blow, Vegito and Gogeta were working as a team, doing everything he can to attack Dai Shinken, but they saw it wouldn't work on him. No matter how much energy or power they threw towards Dai Shinken, he would continue to repel all of their attacks like if there were nothing. With that, they both went and striked him, but he caught them by the fist and said, How pathetic. This is all the power you guys got. Here, I thought that you mortals would be far stronger than this, especially after achieving the highest power of that a god and an angel can achieve. How the hell are you able to watch all of our moves? We're working together as a team. Ha! <laughs> that is just some bullshit that Weez told you guys. That if we work as a team, you guys could beat anything over my dead body. Dai Shinken went and strike Vegito across his face. As that one hit got Vegito to be sent flying million years away. But from there, Dai Shinken came right behind him as he kicked him in his stomach. Vegito began to gasp for air while Gogeta went and he powered up a massive Kamehameha wave and he aimed it right towards Dai Shinken. Dai Shinken went and he caught it with just one finger, not with the hand but with the one finger and he easily dispersed it and said, how weak, I thought that your attack would at least do something to me. This guy's so powerful ever since he grew up to 7 feet tall. Damn, any idea of Vegito? I don't know, wait, there, before Vegito could say something, Dai Shinken came right in front of him as he got both Vegito and Gogeta in the arm lock and from there he threw them towards the ground as he began to beat the shit out of them. They didn't stood a chance against him no matter how much power or energy they would use to attack Dai Shinken, he would just rebel up and attack them back. With that, they saw that all the angels came as they were badly beaten and from there both Vegito and Gogeta lost their form and they went right back to their base. Dai Shinken began to laugh and say, it is time you guys die and know what it means to fight an actual god. There's a reason why I am the strongest angel to exist. Now say goodbye. Dai Shinken went and he powered up a massive blast strong enough to destroy the entire place as he went and he was about to aim it towards Vegito and Gogeta while Vegito passed out Gogeta quickly went and he picked up Vegito and since he's badly hurt he couldn't sense where he's going but he just went and Kai Kai away. Dai Shinken saw that they're gone and said how sad they decide to flee. Oh well. I could see they will come to fight me, but before that happens, I want you guys to go to where's Universe 7 and destroy their home, kill Beerus and everyone. As he sent the order and from there all the angels went and they traveled to Universe 7, where they all went and used their staff and they blasted planet earth away and everyone on it along with Beerus, Broly, Piccolo has all died including Champa. All of them has died from that blast as all the angels were obeying everything that Dai Shiken told them. With that they came back and told Dai Shiken that they have done it and they managed to destroy everyone that was there. Dai Shiken was really happy as he continued to go plan out how he's going to go and utilize and kill Gogeta and Vegito so he could move with his plan. While that was happening, Vegito and Gogeta on Universe 10. They ended up on a world known as Zamasu's world as they were badly hurt and from there Zamasu saw two mortals had arrived to his universe and from there he went and he began to aid him. This Zamasu has a change in his personality because like what Future Trunks say when you change one thing when it comes to the timeline a lot of stuff has changed and because the fact that Goku and Vegeta are born as Vegito and Gogeta it affected Zamasu's personality where instead of hating mortals and he's upset that mortals are so strong, he loves the fact that mortals are able to grow their power that strong and he is a really pure hearted Supreme Kai here. With that, Gosu was dead since Vegito and Gogeta has managed to kill the destroyer and Gosu was the Supreme Kai, Zamasu was next in line as he had the earring of the Supreme Kai and from there he continued to aid Gogeta and Vegito. Once when they got up they then began to panic on where they are and from there Zamasu looked towards them and told them, relax guys. I have actually healed all your guys wound, you ended up arriving to my universe. What the? And who are you? Yeah, what the hell? You look a lot like the Supreme Kai in our universe, but I guess you're green. Could it be a piccolo fuse? <laughs> um, I don't know about that, but my name is Zamasu. 
I am the heir to the Supreme Kai. And you guys are in Universe 10. What the? Universe 10? How did we end up here? I don't know. I don't have much time focusing on our energy. I just took you and I left as soon as I can. I guess it arrived me to this universe. By the way, where did you guys come from and why are you guys all badly hurt? Gogeta and Vegeta decided to trust Zamasu and they told him how they got into a fight with the Grand Priest and that the Grand Priest literally mopped the floor on them and they were about to die but they quickly vanished from that area. They then told Zamasu everything, how all the destroyers wanted to kill them because of their power and all that. And after hearing their story, Zamasu decided to go inside with Gogeta and Vegito as he felt that the angels were corrupted since day one and said, I never trusted those angels, I knew from day one, they're up to something. By the way, you guys say you're from Universe 7? Yeah, that's right. Maybe we should call Beerus over here too and everyone else. Well, I just got the news that Beerus has been killed. What? Yeah. A group of angels went towards your guys' universe and they blew up a planet called Planet Earth. No! That's our home! You're telling me those bastards destroyed my place? Uh, I'm sorry if that's your home, but yeah. And there were no survivors. They managed to kill all the mortals that were there too. Gogeta and Vegito got really angry that since the Supreme Kai is dead, their idea was to go to Old Kai and get their potential unleashed. But now that Supreme Kai is dead, along with Beerus and everything else, their plan got ruined. With that, they had no idea how they can stop Dai Shinken as they continue to go and train and think to themselves what they can to do to stop Dai Shinken. But from there, Zamasu has heard their story and he decided to help out as he gave them the earring of the Patara, you can say. Once when they saw it, they were very amazed and shocked and said, Wait a second, you mean we can fuse again? Well, what? Again? You mean you guys did this before? Yeah, we did! Thank you so much! What do you say, Vegito? Ready to become Gogito again? Hell yeah! I don't see that shorty beating us this time. Well then, let's go! I have a date with the Super Dragon Balls. We're gonna wish back our universe Earth to be revived again and all these people. Especially Weez, we need him back. Alright, bet, let's do it. As Vegito and Gogeta said their thanks to Zamasu, and with that, they have now went and Kai Kai right back to Zeno's world. On Zeno's world, Dai Shinken was sitting there as he began to remember how he went and trapped Zeno. As Zeno was sitting there asking Dai Shinken what is going on in Universe 7, and before he knows it, Dai Shinken went and killed Zeno's guard as he used his staff and he hit it on Zeno's head getting to be absorbed within Daishinken's staff and he was sealed in the staff. From there all the angels came as they began to plan out how they're going to continue with their plan but out of nowhere they saw Vegito and Gogeta has arrived again as Daishinken came right in front of them and said, I see you guys are here for a round 2 beating huh? Well uh, judging from your power nothing has changed, why do you think you could stop me now? <laughs> we weren't prepared, you caught us off guard, how about you go and use your final form, we're ready for you. As Dai Shinken went and he transformed right back to his final form. Alright then, you ready to fight me? <laughs> yeah, we are. Ready, Gogeta? Hell yeah, I am Vegito, let's do it. As both Gogeta and Vegito went and they transformed to their final form. With that, all the angels came to defend Dai Shinken as they went and they rushed right towards Gogeta and Vegito and they began to hit them. Gogeta and Vegeta were working as a team to attack the angels as they were holding their own against them but from there, Dai Shinken came to help and he striked both of them across their face, getting them to be sent flying mirrors away. He then began to laugh and say, it's futile, why do you guys think you can still beat us? Especially now that I have all the angels around me, you guys will easily be killed right here. <laughs> we have a... F Plan B, you can say. Plan B. Alright then, let's do it, Vegito. Let's show him. Alright, Dai Shinken. It's time you know what it means to fight with real mortals. You ready to die? From there, Gogeta and Vegeta went and they placed an earring on their ears. And as you know it, they have gone and fused to become one.
Dai Shinken was confused as everyone saw Go, Jita, and Vegito has fused to become the strongest fusion in the multiverse known as Gogito as they already fused their Ultra Instinct and Ultra Ego into one making them become Gogito using Ego Instinct this is Ego Instinct Gogito alright looks like it worked and wow look at our power and is it me or is these earrings far different from the one that Supreme Kai gave us from our universe what the hell? What is this? It's over, Dai Shinken. We have come for you and all the angels. Now it's time for you guys to die. Before Dai Shinken can make another move, he saw that Gogeta went and he charged right towards an angel and he one shot one of them as they died right there. The other angel came in to try to hit Gogeta, but Gogeta blocked it as he kicked him right in his guts, getting him to die right there. From there, Gogito went and he rushed at the rest of the angels and he began to beat the shit out of them as all the angels that were there fell towards the ground and they were pretty much dead. Dai Shinken was really shocked and said, How the hell are your guys' power this strong? <laughs> you think just because you grew a few feet you would be stronger than us? No way! We are now seeing the power of Vegito and Gogeta using their full power. That's what you could call me Gogito using Ego Instinct. With that, Gogito came right in front of Dai Shinken as he striked him across his face, getting to be sent flying meters away. Dai Shinken did a backflip as he charged right towards Gogito and both the power clashed with one another and they were going at it. Gogito was easily beating the shit out of Dai Shinken since he is using his ego instinct and from there Gogito decided to go kick it up a notch as he saw that his fusion is going to war off any second now so he decided to go all out. Gogito went and strike Dai Shinken in his throat, kneed him in his face three times and he punched him getting him to be sent flying high in the air but from there Gogito instantly came right behind him as he kneed Dai Shinken right in his back getting his spine to break and from there he saw Gogito went and he used a new attack called the Stardust Hawkeye Breaker. With that he went and aimed it right towards Dai Shinken as a breaker hit Dai Shinken head on and he has been erased from existence and it turned his body into dust. With that Gogito and Vegeta went and they separated as they become right back to their self and their fusion has worn off but they managed to go and take down the terror of Dai Shinken. Gogeta then went and took Dai Shinken's staff and broke it getting Zeno to come out of the staff and from there Zeno was completely confused of what happened. They didn't tell him everything as Zeno was upset that his trusted person would do such thing and from there they decided to go use the super dragon balls and to wish undo everything that Dai Shinken has done. From there Zeno wanted Gogeta and Vegeta to be his guard or you could say the next grand priest as they didn't know what to say but they decided to accept the offer since that will get them to always be on top of the multiverse. From there Whis has come back to life as he was very proud of their progress and he couldn't believe that they were able to take down Dai Shinken and all the angels. From there they went right back to the universe to see if everyone's okay as they told him that they'll be now living at Zeno's world since they have become the next grand priest and from there Gogeta and Vegito said their goodbye as they went right back to Zeno's world and they continued to live their life there becoming the new grand priest. And this is what I believe what would have happened if Gogeta and Vegito existed as Goku and Vegeta. Thank you very much for watching and supporting me on this series. I got to appreciate it. If you guys really love this series, please give it a thumbs up. That would really help me a lot. And if you haven't joined my Discord server yet, what are you guys waiting for? Click the link in the description below and join it. And please subscribe to my boy, Vegeta T23, helping get up to 10,000 subscribers. Please everyone, subscribe to Goku T23. Trust me, you won't regret it. And if you haven't already, please click the bell. That way you will be notified when the next video comes out. Trust me click the bell, it's worth your time, and if you feel like this channel isn't for you in the future, you can always unsubscribe. <laughs>